because last time I had a whole bunch of stuff I had to sort out. This time, it just works. What? Yeah. I mean, I have no way to prove that. It's no, anybody, no, it won't show, it, no, it won't show. No, it won't show. But there is chat. Hi, chat. How's it going? Uh, what's up? What are you up to? Are you hobbying? Or are you just deeply intent on learning how to play Grey Knights versus Death Watch? It is uh, the big game. Big game, big, big game. Two top tier teams. Well, you're wearing my black armor, so I've got to do something about it. That is, that is true. Or are you wearing my black armor? Not very grey knights, mate. Not very grey knight. Black is a, you know, is a is a variation of grey, isn't it? Or grey is a very, you know. I don't know. Is that? I don't really get colours. <laughs> uh, I've got to be honest with you. I've so a conversation with a colour blind guy. Yeah, 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 well yeah. <laughs> Yeah, interesting brown blood angels have you got there. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so shall we go... Well, let's wait till we know that we've actually gone live. Uh, nobody has said anything yet, so I should double-check it. Uh, <laughs> let's find out. Uh, are we live? Can people please uh, say hello, if so? Somebody has been Miz and thirty. I will have to check, yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. Good stuff. This is what you love to see. This is what people tune in for. Oh, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. You, the big issue could be that uh, we've actually... We're going live at the same time as Major Kill. Can you believe it? Uh, oh, who's doing his Primark Kill Team Ken says, you are live. Ah, so we are. But you it's know what? It's not coming through on my... Oh, okay. All right. It just took... A minute thirty to, for my software to accept that we've got live. Excellent. So, wow, thank you everybody. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Grey Knights versus Death Watch. Okay, I've got to say, quite a shock here actually. Most people seem to be rooting for Grey Knights. Really? Yeah. It's because they like you more. That's what it is. Oh, it could be. We're pretty. Yeah, I, I was thinking what we could do next time. You'll sit here. I'll sit there and wear your glasses. See what and just see if then. anybody notices. <laughs> yeah. See if play, anybody notices. Play your models. People yeah. won't know. People won't know. Yeah. yeah. And we're playing full scale attack, which is mission. Full scale attack. Okay. Yeah. 2.2. Oh, okay. No, we've got a few. We've got a few D dubs. We've got a few D dubs. All right. Okay. Uh, so, I'll go over my team first. Uh, six Grey Knights. There's not a huge amount of customizability. Well, no, sorry, that's completely wrong. Um, for, for a team that has one data sheet, uh, they've got a lot of customizability, I would say. However, I haven't used that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five guys and girls, because that's how my Stormcast conversions go, um, with Falchions. Everyone has a Storm Bolter. Gunners, terrible, obviously. Uh, and I've got one guy with uh, a big storm hammer, I think. And that's it. Yeah. I've given out. One random dude has the sidebolt ammunition, which is just plus one to their damage and attack. Yep. Uh, I've got two, which can do a free psychic power. And I've got one that has a two-up armor safe. That's it. Nice. Super easy. And I haven't announced my tack ops or anything yet. No. So, <laughs> obviously, hush, hush. Hush. Harsh. Over to you. Yeah, so mine have got Death Watch. I've got um, three regular dudes, uh, and they are dudes. So I've got all the, um, the power weapons and their Death Watch uh, bolters. So I've got the Dark Angel, the um, Empress Spear, and the, the Wolf Spear guy here. Yeah. Uh, I've then got the Gunner, which has got a plasma gun. And then I've got the Heavy Gunner, which has got the Frag Cannon. But the Sergeant's armed with a plasma gun. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry, you've got a, the frag cannon and the plasma gun are your two kind of big AP AP things? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, I've then got... Uh, oh, a bit of terrain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's tactic go. number one. Got the earth, the, shape, the earth shape shape cannon. cannon. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, and then uh, I've got purity seal on the sergeant and the plasma gun. And okay. then I've put um, a grenade, a crack, crack grenade on the Empress spear. Excellent. Okay, uh, you now have a ran. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Vinterbjörk of course points out the fact that very strangely, Death Watch. They're actually called a Death Watch kill team. They are. And the game I don't know if you know is called Kill Team. That's weird. And they isn't it? don't have. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, just quickly there, John R Rally, Raleigh, uh, you said, I'm a big Grey Knights player. 
I love that you have those psychic powers for free. The psychic powers aren't free, and I feel like perhaps you need to explain that. Although, my, uh, my two bits of equipment do give them a free... So maybe you meant that. Just chat in, chat in discussion, I guess, uh, or discussion in chat. Um, plasma side for win, yes. Uh, apart from that, hopefully there's going to be a super quick game, because it's two compendium teams. Yeah. Uh, we, we are, of course, playing with the balanced data state in effect. Yep. Why wouldn't we? So, but for both of us, that just means plus one model. So yeah. instead of five, as it's written in the compendium, we're six. Yeah, so just, oh, oh, just on the, on the side, I went back and forth quite a bit, actually, on whether right. to take the, the shield and the Xenoblade or the, okay. uh, the plasma gun. Okay. Uh, I thought with the I three guys with uh, power weapons, so I thought just a little bit extra firepower would probably be the right okay. way to go. How much plasma have you taken? Two. Two, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Two plus heavy. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's the way to go, though, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, especially yeah. into other Marines. Yeah. Certainly, this could be super quick. If I misplay and you just get one, two, three... Because if you hit me with the plasma, I'm dead. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, these are just mini-Marines. Yeah. They're just 11 wounds. Are you hits you need two hits. Yeah. yeah. Um, and actually, I will say, the last time I played my Grey Knights, mm -hmm. it was into Scions. Um, and I... So... <laughs> This is why I stopped playing Grey Knights, uh, because I I made every single armor save that I rolled, and he still tabled me. Okay. Because of AP. Yeah. And it was like, oh, maybe this team's not meant to be played anymore. <laughs> uh, like very genuinely, which is obviously a shame. Um, and so that's yeah, that could happen here again. Yeah. Uh, with the frag and the plasma on the table, yeah, you could just like, yep, oh, I'm done. Even with, like, three up, two up saves. Yeah. I'll just... Cool. Okay. Yes, uh, indeed. How much plasma, ha plasma have you taken? All of it. Yes. All of the plasma. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just so effective. Like, when would you not take no, it? No, no, there's, there's no reason not to take pl it. Plasma is, without a doubt, the best weapon in the game. Yeah. Like, if there's ever an option to take a plasma, you always take a plasma before any other gun. So, and if you can take three, why not? Okay, uh, the equipment can be so great being able to pop the hammer psychic ability. Yeah, that's true. Charge them, fight twice with the strap. Yeah, yeah. Hammer hand side action is so useful versus seven wound models. Very true. Very true. I don't know if I really need it against you. Your 11 wounds, all of my weapons are... Uh, or Sorry, all of my melee are 4-5. So actually, yes. Because then it means I kill you in a crit and a hit. Mm. Yeah. So actually, the hammer hand psychic yeah. power gives me a two-hit kill instead of a, a three-hit kill, which is pretty big. I want to shoot you. You want to punch me. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I mean, shame. my storm bolters are really good. Like, uh, it's a bolter with relentless. Um, but your power armor can just kind of tank it. If you have cover and you've got a three-up save, even if I'm getting five hits, I'm not doing more than... I'm, I mean, there's no chance I'm killing you in, in a single shot. So with that said, um, I will say this is also my first time playing Grey Knights on Into the Dark. Mm. And so one strat you always use, turn one in Overworld or Core, is uh, Tide of Shadows. Which means you can't be shot if you're on a conceal by vantage point. But obviously I don't need that. So as I, as I begin, uh, I'm actually not going to use any ploys turn one. Oh wow. Over, oh, I, the, over to you. I guess I you probably want to mention that as well. I won the, the roll-off initially, but made you yes. defender, and then we got to the scouting step, and we both... Um, uh, we both dashed. Both dashed, and we see so your guy... I dashed to there. Yes. I dashed to there. Yeah, yeah. So you're not playing a ploy. Uh, so you're not going to play one. I'm not going to play one either. All right. So, play that game. so it would then, you know, just for interest, go back to me. Yeah. Once you say, no, I'm not playing, I can then say, ah, well, actually, I am. Uh, but then it would still go back to you, and you'd be able to play it. Um, so there's no surprise ploys. You can't say, <laughs> oh, you passed. Well, actually. And then you play three ploys in a row or something. Uh, I also don't... I'm not revealing any tack ops. Are you? No. Boom. Game KG. one. Turn KG. one. Let's do it. Uh, right. Okay. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, I really should have sat back for a moment and thought about what I was going to do turn one. We've had a while since... <laughs> <up>. <laughs> we've had a we've long time. We've talked about time. everything other yeah, than yeah. the actual go. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, so Vinter Bjork just quickly says, if you have cover, as I was discussing uh, in regards to my, my bolters, and then points over to Astral Aim, which of course would be a no cover. 
Yeah. Uh, that is that is a fair point. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to use it in this. Um, because I suspect often you just won't give me a shot. Because I have no way to get an advantage to pressure you that way because it's no. into the dark. So it's just kind of... Yeah. You Who... Who can out activate, yeah. and then kind of who's going to give a particular shot the the weight, or 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 and this could be really boring. We just wait to see who gets the final activation, and then they they go for the the shot, and then yeah. that's it. Let's find out. Let's see uh, what I actually have no idea what I'm doing. To sitting on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Um, okay. So I am though going to play quite a cagey turn one. I think. He says. So cage. I'm so cage, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, um, sorry, should we also say the objectives? Oh, so, yes. we don't get anything from holding our objectives. We get one from holding the middle, and then we get two for holding the enemy's objectives. That's correct. Yeah. So, there is no, so even though we have objectives on our side, there's no point in us actually hanging back. No. Uh, really. So, I have to do something. So this is a delaying tactic now. <laughs> it really is. It so really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. It's about space hole. He has the little spinning timer thing. The sand timer. That would be useful. Yeah. That would be useful. So the only thing I can see on the board as an offensive action is the possibility of this guy zooming up to there and getting a shot there. It's possible I wouldn't be able to get it because of cover lines there. And I, yeah. But I don't think as a first the first go that's really what I want to be doing uh, so I will say uh, he's on a engage on engage okay cool um, cool so in that case uh, he's on an engage he's on a conceal he's on a engage okay cool yeah so engage on the plasma in fact on the big the big dudes have got engage all of them oh okay so, so all the guys the yeah cast. okay gotcha so I'm feeling incredibly caged in because so all of the barricades we've put down if I move to any of them I know that you can get to within two inches of me and shoot me yeah because we go through here so it's it's a move and uh, an open and you can get to within that barricade same for there uh, from him yep and same to there from him Mm, maybe not with him actually, uh, because you'd have to move and dash and open a door. But you could equally just move with him instead and open the door first. So I can't really do anything, and that's leave left me quite confused. <laughs> if I'm honest, if I'm honest. So okay, it's fine. Whatever. So instead, uh, I'm gonna move. Open a door. No, I'm not, because then he's just ra <laughs> right out in the open. So I can't do that. How frustrating. Uh, <laughs> I think you'd probably have the golden angle. That you, that what depending on what I got to. Well, it depends. It depends. The problem is, if I move first, you can always... There's always some angle where you say, no, you can't shoot me. So you have to wait for the other person to put somebody on an engage. And then you say, okay, now I move here. Yep. And like, so, ah, oh, that makes the game a little bit too, uh, <laughs> I have to do something though. <laughs> this is dragging. Right, okay. If you want to go make a cup of tea right now. Now's the time. Have Now's some lunch. Time. Now's the go time. do that. Andy may have done turn, uh, turn one, move one. <laughs> <That point. laughs> mm. I'm giving you all this crap oh, banter, but I'm going to be in exactly the same position right now. I just don't know what to do. So unfortunately he can be seen. And as we just discussed, so normally what I would have done before is I'd have moved there yeah. and I'd have gone on guard. Yeah. But you can just say, okay, well I moved to a point where you can't shoot me because line of sight isn't reciprocal. Yeah. So I have moved, I have opened, I'm dashing to there. Okay. Uh, it is over to you. I'm going to rotate myself to make sure you can't get visible. <clears throat> this guy is going to move up. 
Mm-hmm. Move through dash open. Yeah. Is there what I see? Nice. Cool, cool. So, uh, if you can't tell, I've basically just accepted that because I'm having to make the first move each time, I'm just losing turn one. And then I have to just hope turn two, like, there are <laughs> openings. Because I know that if I move out, you will just get a kill. Yeah. And it's like, I have to just wait. I have to just wait. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, she's going to hip hop over to there. Chill. Oh, well, she can be a little bit closer, actually. Um, so that would have just been a move. Uh, I guess she will, just in case, do a psychic power to give herself a two-up arm save. Okay. You shouldn't be able to shoot her, but, you know, I've got the APL, so yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do it. Drew does point out you're missing a fighter with a plasma pistol. Can you take? I didn't know you could take that, but that seems like another way to get plasma. You, so can you have four plasmas in Death Watch? Yeah. Oh man. Nice. Nice. Oh, I can't quite get far off. Nah. Nah. That's fair. That's why we measure it. Yeah, so as we're two equally numbered teams that are going to die to possibly one shot... Well, I'm, I'm going to die to one shot from you. You'll die to one fight from me. Yeah. It's kind of like... We just have to be really cagey. Like... What sort of shooting attacks does that do you got? They all have the same. It's a Storm Bolter. So that's just a regular Bolter. Four attacks. Three, four. Uh, but it has Relentless. The only one that's different is this guy, because I gave them equipment, so they are actually 4-5 damage on the bolter. Okay. Go to there, go on guard. That's the plaz. Yeah. That's the plaz. Okay. Dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. Danger, danger. Uh, and that guy, does he have a bolter as well? I mean, that's your yeah. fighter, right? So he's a bolter... Bolter. And a... Power weapon. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... All right. Fair enough. <clears throat> So, if I were to open this door, this guy, well, I don't think you could even see him, but even if you could, uh, he's concealed. He's definitely past that. Yep. This guy might not be. <laughs> In fact, I think isn't. No. So I'd have to dash, open, move. Uh, just to make sure that, because he's on a conceal, so I just have to make sure that part of my base is concealed. Unfortunately, I've got him directly in the centre, <laughs> so he's not concealed. <laughs> That's good to know, though. Yeah, yeah. Because... In this game, there's no need to ever be directly in the centre of this. No. Which is what I did. Um, you sh I guess, good learning point, you should always be slightly to the side. Yeah. Especially if you're on a conceal, so that you always have that. Um, so, maybe I'll do that. Or, I could do it with this guy. So I can move him up, open, shoot. Could I? Yeah, but if you can shoot me... No, I no, yeah, you, you. you'd be able to shoot me if I were that close to yeah. this. Yeah. Of course, if I was further back, different. Uh, and this guy's on a conceal, so could not do that. So, I suppose... What I'll do is... 
because I don't know what's happening here. You're scaring me, so I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm gonna move up. Get to there with my guy on a conceal. Uh, oh, I have to open the door. Uh, how, mm, okay. They go to there instead. Open. And that's him. Mm. Moves to there. The reason that's a bad idea is because I think this guy's just in the open if you go through that door. You'd be at minus one to hit because, or minus one attack dies because of him. If if the line goes through him, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's not working for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes! <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't you <laughs> open that <laughs> trap door. I've just got to not lose a model turn one. That's my goal. I don't care about the rest of the game. I just need to not die. Um, just let me get these first objectives, mate. No, I am. I'm <laughs> going to. Like, I've already accepted you get the first objectives. I just have to... But I can't do nothing. I have to move. Uh, okay, so he was there. Hiding. Right. Okay. So, because then you can still pop through there and get a shot because he's on the engage. So, all right. Let's try this instead. If he were to move dash, could he get within circle of a guy if I had him there? Uh, should be up to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. <clears throat> There's just nothing I can do. Love it. Okay. All right. So he's going to uh... no, because he's going to get shot. <laughs> Has anybody got any words of advice for uh, for glass right now? Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> That's the word of advice. Oh. That's the only word so of advice I right need. Now. How quickly is that paint drying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's putting <clears throat> layers and layers of contrast paint on one model now, just watching it instead of watching. I've just <laughs> I've moved <laughs> models into a position where they have to die. It's like, well, that wasn't my intent. Damn it. Okay, so um, all right. Uh, okay, so if I were to open this, you would be able. You couldn't charge me, but you could move dash shoot. Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Okay, well, I have to do something, so he's gonna shuffle to the side, open a door. He's on a conceal, so he can't be shot. Yeah. Um, that was a dash to the side. And then with a the move, maybe I'll move up that. Maybe I'll go in there. We know you can get there. I think you can get there too, to be fair. So, <laughs> do I stay safe? I have to stay safe. <laughs> Lovely. So he's going to give himself a two-up armor save uh -huh. and just sit there. That was riveting. Wow. <laughs> do you see why I prefer to do edited battle reports? <laughs> it's ten minutes of my life. I'm not going back. Lulu Cthulhu flank around the right side. So, okay, yes, that was what I was thinking going up here to the side, right? But, uh, as we had just, as he's kind of messing around with here, he can actually get to both of these barricades, a move and a dash, and then a shoot. And I'm trying to avoid being shot. Um, I would argue that I'm being too cautious. And that really, I need to... accept that with a two-up armour save, he could probably shoot me with a bolter and I'll be fine. In reality... He should have moved it. Because you couldn't charge me, but you could move dash shoot. Yep. But if I'm a two of arm save mm, tops, I'm taking three damage unless I completely fluff. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm putting myself on the open now against your very combat team, so <coughs> next turn you are going in and slicing yeah, and dicing. No, so exactly. Um, turn two will decide this, this game, really. Yeah. Um, and the way it's going to work is you'll hold your big hitters back, uh, shooters back. You still have some strong melee. 
but in theory, my melee should beat your melee. Yeah. So I'll charge in, get a kill, and then you'll shoot me. Yeah. And that's roughly how the game's going to go. <laughs> And, we're saying, and, and now you've said that, even if you lose, because you've predicted that. Oh, yeah, no, I know what's winner. happening. You're yeah, a winner. Yeah. You're a winner, 100%. 100%. Uh, I assume you want to move his. Oh, yeah, you'd be like that. Oh, I will, thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> now, of interest yeah. to some, might be the fact that it's not as simple for me as it may seem. <laughs> because you've put him there and I could charge with him. Yeah. But even if I wait for this to be the final action, a guard still interrupts before, because it's an interrupt, so you, it's not an overwatch, so you interrupt even if it's my final thing. So if I were to, whatever, charge, fight, fight, yeah. even though my action or activation finishes before you would have a chance to interrupt with my move and stuff, yeah. you interrupt after my last activation, yeah. so I wouldn't be safe. We, we'd be trading. 100%. 100%. And that's your leader, isn't it? That is my leader. So yes, he doesn't have anything other than uh, being a leader, special, okay. but yeah, yeah. Oh, hits on twos. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so it's not what? as cool as it might seem, sadly. And, and I don't have another way to, like, get a comeback on the guard. No. You know? So instead, I'm a golden angle you with the guard guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a bit boring, but I'm going to do it. So I will shuffle to where that's possible <laughs> and shoot you. Uh, so do we need to explain this? Nah, not really. No. Uh, people know it. It's fine. So because I'm over circle from this uh, heavy cover, I'll, I'll move up just because why not? Uh, so that I'm a bit closer to it. Uh, there is a point here where my cover line can go through and see all of him. He will get a cover save. Um, oh no you won't because I'll use no cover as my psychic power well, no. be like that obviously <laughs> <clears throat> and then my cover line wherever, wherever it needs to be goes through that and goes to you I would say roughly there is where it needs to be yeah yep. uh, cool so I well, dash I guess uh, I then use my psychic power for no cover so yep. you won't get the cover save and I will shoot you Shoot. Now, I'm hitting on twos. Yep. It doesn't really matter, because all my guys have Relentless. So. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, well, the double one. So, two crits and a hit. Ooh, Ooh. the triple one! You love to see it. <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do with that? Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot my To nose. be clear, you're... It doesn't kill you. No. So even so, e even though all three go through, it's uh, four eight. It kills you. Kills you me. you so probably want to. I'm shooting my load, so I'm using all three of my CP. Oh, uh, okay. You don't have to though. You can you can choose, can't you? You can choose your rerolls. Oh, so yeah, you can, can do one CP, yeah, one reroll, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you can do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crit. Crit. Okay. So that removes one crit. Nice. Uh, I can do another one. It's a regular. Okay. So, do you want to take the crit, or do you want to roll again? I'm going to roll again. Okay. That's fair. Free up save. Why not? So, I'm going to so stop. you block two, two crits. Two crits. So, you take three damage. Not too bad for rerolls. Not too bad. No. So, it's three damage. I'm down to eight. Okay. So, effectively, I didn't really do much. Because it doesn't put you on wounded. No, you, you stripped out my... I took out your CP, which yeah. is useful. Um, but again, I'm not really expecting to do much this turn. No. Ne next turn's where things happen. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, I will lower your CP. Oh, you. Yeah, average. I don't see... Um, <clears throat> probably my words. Yeah. But with these strategic attack ploys... They're That's not fair. that useful to me because, like, the double shoot sure. and double fight isn't something I'm necessarily going to do. Because the double shoot is for bolters only. Yes. And you don't care. No. You want double shoots on plasmas. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't get. You don't have. <laughs> no, indeed. Yeah. No. So, um, so sure. for me, strategic attack boys. Not really. Yeah. Thing. Although, um, because there is the only death of duty end that where is. you could fire a plasma again. Yes. But next turn, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I would. Ooh. I think just having the threat of him staying alive. No, definitely. Is definitely. probably worth it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, my turn. Oh, great. <clears throat> yeah. So I have two left to go, just so you know. These two. Yeah. And you have three left? Because you're yeah. moving it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, that triple one, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. You don't expect that. You don't no. expect that. No, that's... You, you, uh... you can't teach that level <laughs> yes. of dice rolling. To be no. And you know what? Using the casino dice. So it's not like I handed you my, my cooked roll ones for my opponent dice, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because I can't, when I'm using my other dice, I feel a little bit bad when I roll really hot. Because I'm like, <laughs> yeah, these probably, aren't, uh, <laughs> these probably aren't good dice to use in casual games. I saved those for the uh, tournaments, <laughs> which I don't go to. I'm just going to move this dude <clears throat> to there. Okay. Do you want to open the door? No. It's a shame. Okay. It's, no. it's weird, that. Is that your, that's your leader? Uh, no, it's not my leader. That's just a random dude. Just that. With a power weapon? And yeah, that is uh, the Emperor's finest spear. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Looks like a Stormcast spear. It, it, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> I can tell. That's, I can you, tell. You I are. see my Stormcast from you're, you're, you're a hobby connoisseur. So. I, you know what? People doubt my hobby yeah. abilities, but whatever. Um, okay, back to me. So I'm back to having nothing I can do. Uh, because that hasn't changed anything. That hasn't changed anything. So I guess what I'm going to do... Oh, uh, yeah, that's why I can't do anything. Right... Right, yeah, okay. <clears throat> right. Okay. Oh, how frustrating. So I could move and open a door. Um, I don't have a spare base. If I were to open that, I'm pretty sure he could shoot me. I don't want him to. He's fine because he's on a conceal. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do something a little bit weird here just to avoid being shot. So he's going to move, well, move up, open a door whilst making sure he's out of line of sight of him, which is fine. That's easy. The problem is... Next turn, he could move through, and then he would have line of sight, which is why I can't just open the door with him and get a shot over there. So I think I then have to dash back so that I'm obscured by this instead of just in cover of it. Okay. Because otherwise, opening this door with him, you could do what I just did here and just golden angle me, yeah. which I'm really trying to avoid. Because um, as we can see, if I roll triple ones, <laughs> it's good. Uh, the anti <laughs> Be, and because I already looked at it before. No, because I need to open. There's no way for me to do this, to get a shot without having four APLs. So, uh, he moves forward. Is this one on engage order as well? No, that's concealed. Oh, okay. So he's so, so that's your last one on an engage order? Yes, okay. that's correct. Um, because there's no way for me to do it with him. He's on there. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to shoot him. Because you'd move in and get like there or something and get a clear shot yeah yeah so I have to move him first but there's no way cool so uh, I move then within with that I could dash back to anywhere I need but I am really in the corner is there anywhere I can be <sighs> I'm just so confused <laughs> I don't know what to do that's what I'm saying yeah yeah you used to be indecisive, but now you're not quite sure. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so to the to viewers, how is that contrast paint drying right now? <laughs> uh, so if I were to do that... No, yeah. Okay. Right, so he moves forwards. I'm pretty sure I have to open this door. 
I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't have to. We should do like a choose your own adventure to. type of battle report where you can come up with three different options and, you and then the to viewers vote. decide it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like drunken commando. <laughs> Right, right, yeah, okay, no. So the idea is, please correct me if I'm wrong, I then dash back to be just over two from there. Yeah. There, let's just say there, that's two. Yeah. And that's move, open, dash. <clears throat> but you can just... I can. can just I assume to, you can get to there I and get still get there. a clean shot, yeah. can't you? And in fact... But you would have to get through that door, 100%. Yep. We're happy to say that. I think that's actually the best I can do, unless I just leave the door closed. That would stop you getting shot. <laughs> Which is what I'm after this turn. But, but I feel like I should open it. Am I just being wrong? Am I being too aggressive? I think so. I guess I won't open the door. <laughs> but it just feels so weird. Okay. I'm not going to open the door. Uh-oh. -uh. I think for you it's the second turn pounce that you've got to prepare for, isn't it? Like you've got to get your I guys guess. into position so next turn they go bah! <laughs> All right, I have opened the door. I will also, just for fun, psychic power myself with the two up save. <laughs> just because <laughs> I can. Because <laughs> bulk, a bulkhead's not protecting you enough. Oh, so Pedoro uh says open and guard as a possibility. So unfortunately, it's not. It is. Yes. But, in the current circumstance, he would just um, get to an angle where I can't shoot him, just like I did over here. So it, it's very challenging to get, uh, especially with even-numbered teams. Anybody that stands, like, near a doorway will probably just get shot. Yeah. I mean, it's good for the next turn as you're covering the whole place. Yep. But... No, no, hey, with how long I'm taking to make decisions, please do backseat game. <laughs> please do tell me what to do. Uh, so I've only got one, one guy left. <coughs> Can he get to the head of your plan? Hmm. This guy's just going to be up to that. Now, you see, with that threat gone, I, there's so much more I could have done here. But because he was there, I had to play it safe. Now, I, I could have done anything. I could have got an, another shot here. Crazy things. Crazy. Crazy. But Wild now, things. Nothing, literally nothing. Mm -hmm. Literally nothing. Okay, so it's over to me. My final thing... I have no guards or overwatches because you still have a go. You don't have any overwatches because we're equal on points. Uh, numbers, I mean. Um, you measured that. I assume that that would be, could I get there? But then I have no cover and you're running through and shoot me, so I'm not going to do it, obviously. Yeah, that's why so, Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I was going to move that to there. And then yeah. I thought, actually, there's a chance you can get in there. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, me. Fair. So I'm going to give the threat. <clears throat> so my only option really... Is this guy, do I want to push him here to kind of support this for the next turn? Do I want to push him here to support the middle room? Or do I want to do something crazy, move up to there, and then hope I get first turn? Because if I don't get first turn, he's dead, yep. 100%. And in this instance, you can react with him to whatever I do. You can say, he's pushed here, I'm going to ignore it, run away. You could say he's gone here, mad lad, I'm going to shoot him. I probably won't go there. <laughs> or he's gone here, okay, I can move up to support. So I can't get some crazy next turn play. I can just say, play it safe, I guess, and just move up to there. And that is me done, I believe. The way the Obviously, is. he's going to uh, give himself a two-up save. <laughs> yeah. Mad lad. Mad okay. skills. Done. I'm glad. <clears throat> so, uh, that will put your VP to two? Yeah. Me to a solid zero. All out on zero. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and done. Done. I think. Okay. Let's reset. <laughs> Flip the tokes. How'd you feel about that turn? Good question. Um, 
Easter. It took too long. How long did that take? 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's play two Space Marine teams, he said. It'll be quick, It'll be quick. It'll be super <laughs> quick. Um, I, I was taking far too long to make decisions. And the reason for that, I think I made good decisions in the end. Yes. But it took me way too long because I'm just not familiar enough with the team. And I took, it took me way too much processing power to make the right choice. Yeah. But ultimately, if I could have done that in half the time, I'd have been happy with, with the decisions made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, how did you feel? Uh, yeah, I've, I've got my dudes out there a little bit, so I think this next turn has been quite a swing turn, potentially. <clears throat> yes. In general, one of the things I do like about Grey Knights is how consistent they are. Mm. All my weapons have Relentless. So I'm just always in a good position for attacking, I'm very consistent. You know, I mean, bolters aren't the best weapons, but, you know, four attacks re-rolling, like, yeah. Uh, it, it pushes through some okay damage. Less so against power armor, obviously, those yep. three ups are pretty pretty consistent, but, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll off, I guess. Yes, the big roll off. Oh, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm getting those rid of these ones, dice. Those ones. Let me just discover the practice of all these dice okay. again. Oh, man. <laughs> double six, double one. You're Feast of Famine, sir. There we go. Okay, alright. It suddenly rolls five sixes. Oh, I guess they're okay. <laughs> alright. Okay, me first. So this is problematic, if I'm honest. Because we've already discussed it. So I've got a kill here. Yep. But then you've got a kill. Uh, and it's like, it's a straight trade. Yeah. And if I don't get that kill, you can get a charge. Which, going by, even though I would get all hits, because that, that's a falchion, I will get five hits. You are four six? Yes. I'm four five. You get the first. You need a crit to get me in two hits. Yep. Oh. There is there, even with my consistency, it kind of doesn't. Oh yeah, CP. Right. I will also update our CP. But you know what? Oh, uh, we should probably do ploys and tactics. Oh uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, was, I was completely forgot about them. Why, why let the rest of the game get in the way, hey? <laughs> yeah. So quite amusingly, every like pretty much everyone on the board has a power weapon. Yeah. So, um, ploys first. Man, I don't know, you know? Like, so, I want some melee, that's how I kill you. Yep. But, I don't think anyone's going to be fighting twice. Nope. <clears throat> I think, the question is, do I want to play another turn of playing it safe? And maybe get some double shots? That's possible. But I can't really out-activate you, so that's just going to be you putting yourself into bad positions. So I might want to go plus one on my charge. I'll go plus one on my charge, which is Tide of Celerity. Okay. So that puts me that back down to... Oh, do you want to play one? I'm going to pass. Okay. <clears throat> um... I'm not going to play double shoot because I don't think you're going to give me any free shots, if I'm honest. Okay. Um, yeah. Especially since... No, I'm not going to do it. And we will point out every time I wish I'd done it throughout the day. <laughs> okay. Uh, we then go to Tack Ops. Yep. Do you have any you want to reveal? Uh, not right now. I shall reveal... Round. Okay. Uh, if an enemy operative is incapacitated by a friendly operative that is within uh, square, what's that? Six inches. Of your opponent's drop zone, you score a VP. Yep. And if I do it again, you sc I score a VP. Cool. So. Uh, nope. Cool. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you're still allowed to pick round. Uh, I'm not actually 100 percent sure, but it's fine. So I, I did strip out the ones. Yeah, I did. But I either. think I've picked up the wrong deck. So, okay. Uh, okay. I need to, to read well, that. Well, uh, Chad, if you're not allowed to use Rout in Into the Dark, please tell me. Uh, I can't see why you wouldn't. 
Maybe. Okay. Currently, chat has me on a regret count of zero, but let's keep that going. <laughs> okay, I like it. Okay, uh, me first. Yeah, you go for it. Oh, man. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <sighs> oh, man. Any th- charge I don't make, you have a... Ch- so you got a charge here, you got a charge here. i got a charge there, i got a charge there. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I think what I might do... Is... <sighs> the suspense. It's killing me. Open... No, okay, I can't do that. Oh, but he has a thing. Do I need it with him? My demon hammer has 5-6 damage. I need a crit to get a kill. Uh, in two. <clears throat> and I'd be hitting on fours. Oh, that's a bad weapon in this match. Huh? Okay. So I think, instead, I'm going to throw my leader out there. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Uh, he has this. I don't know what this does. That's my free psychic power. So, easy charge to him. Um, for fun, I am going to keep myself on this side of the barricade for when you kill me with a plasma. Okay. Um, but I will get that. Now, with that charge, he's got falchions, which are 4-5 damage. Yep. I'm hitting on twos. Yep. I'm actually just checking they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. So I am going to use uh, Hammer Hand, which will make my first crit plus one damage, which will let me get a crit and a hit to kill instead of. Because otherwise, I'm, I 100% need three hits. So what's the damage? Sorry? 4 5. Oh, so it goes 4 6. Yeah. Well, basically, my first crit would be six damage. Do you need two crits to kill me? They're level yes. Or something. Yeah. Um, but using ha- hammer hand, it would be a crit and a hit. That that's the point of it, kind of. Because otherwise, I'm four or five. Yeah. So I'd need three hits, whatever they are, to kill you. Yeah. With hammer hand, the first one becomes six, so I'd be six and a crit. Yeah. yeah. I need two crits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks for taking that thirty seconds to explain. No, that. that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'll let you roll, but I do have my Relentless roll, to be okay. Oh, no, this Three is not crits. good for me. So, I am going to straight up just fish for crits. Oh, what did you get? Oh, so I got a crit and... Three uh, hits, uh, but I'm just going to fish for a crit because I'm hitting on twos. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, all right, fine. So I got two crits, three hits. Okay, yep. so I'm going to crit you for six damage. Uh, let me just think this through. <laughs> yeah, I thought this might <laughs> take a while. Yeah, because then if I parry that one. <coughs> so if you were to parry my crit, are you, are you parrying the crit? Or are you gonna... Yes, I'm just, I'm just thinking if I parry through it, then you would strike me. That wouldn't kill me, and then I'd get to do a crit back to you. But that doesn't really change the price of fish. No, so I'm going to strike you. You're going to strike with a crit? Yeah, because I'm only going to get one through anyway. If I parried yeah. one. Yeah, 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 so yeah, it's yeah. either way. Okay. So, so I put a six through on you. You do six. Yep. Yeah. That is a big hit. Okay. Uh, and then I kill you. Yeah, so either way, it'd be the same result. So, so uh, I'm down 11 to 5, which wounds me. Isn't he a leader, though? So doesn't he doesn't have 12. He has 6. Whoa. What a beast. Uh, so that is a charge. Oh, I'm going to shoot your plasma. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I didn't realise that was going to be... Ah, it's just the skill of a leader. Um, okay. So... Uh, one, two, three, and a four. So, uh, I'm not at any negative. You will get covered this time. Yeah. I'm going to Relentless. Yeah. Do you have to? Or are you fishing for a crit? Oh, I don't have to, do I? Um, you're just going to save... 
Do I want to fish for a crit? Let's think. <sighs> Against power armor. Let's say I get one through three damage. Would that take you to wounded? If you take three damage? Yes. So I'm guaranteed. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll see what you roll. Cool. So I save one. <clears throat> yeah. But that's your dice fix now, don't you? Isn't it? I can't make any rerolls at this point. Yeah. Okay, so I stop a crit and two, two. hits. Yep. So you one take hit goes, so you're down to five. Which puts you to wounded, which in a trade perspective I'm okay with. Okay. Because it means your hits your your shots are gonna be less yeah. valuable than they should be. Okay. Yeah. Over to you. Plasma, plasma, plasma. Six. <coughs> Just need a crit to go through. This is, you know, this is the problem with these two elite, easy to kill teams. <laughs> like our, our, our attacks are way more powerful than our defense. Weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like these trades are easy. I'm gonna overcharge. Shot you. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Hitting you fours. Oof, nice. However, I get. I'm gonna use my purity seal. Okay. Nice. So I get a hit and a crit. And, and you I take. Is it Do you want to CP it? Uh, immortal is three damage. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I thought you would. Yeah, yeah. So two crits and a hit. Okay. Uh, I only get one save. I'm dead. You are dead. Uh, I will roll it then. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Cool. Uh, so that's my leader god. Yeah. So how many mortal? No, no. If I didn't take the mortal, it's didn't take a mortal. Yeah, yeah. Because I valiantly suggested that you re-roll. You, you is very, is very valiant. valiant. Very valiant. Um, somebody asks, doesn't Hammerhand cost an AP? Uh, no, because I used his equipment. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I used his equipment so that he could do that. Yeah. Uh, as he was one of the guys that had... So I, don't, I don't know what it's called. But one of their equipment allows them to do a free uh, psychic action. So I'm going to uh, declare Headhunter. Nice. So I get one VP because oh. I killed you, and I get yeah, one VP because right. it's in turn one or two. Cool. Um, also, uh, Robin Ransack, and then you kill. So I got that. I scored it and immediately cannot score it again. Cool. I will add those to the score list now, because otherwise I will forget. So you go up to three VP? Yeah. Four VP. Four VP. Because you got two. And I got to a solid one VP. Amazing. I was trying to be cautious about like not giving away that I was talking about your leader too much. Sure. <laughs> uh, and you go back down to zero CP. Yeah. Worthy trade. <clears throat> cool. Oh. Uh. Gosh, my bad. Yeah. Sorry. Can I only death to duty end him? Do you mind? He's already activated, isn't he? Oh no. Disaster. Disaster. So you ca you can. I'm outraged. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it wouldn't. <laughs> but it wouldn't do anything. Wouldn't work. Uh, let me just update this as well. So I scored one. I scored one. Cool. Okay. Uh, so what happened? Uh, I just moved. Oh, he, you, he's moved. Okay. Yeah. And you've left a guard yeah, token by him for no, just for confusion. Guard token's gone. Okay, I've got a uh, do you know what? I can just bloody leave it for what it's worth. You shot with him. Though. Shot. So you dash. You can't shoot twice. No, that's right. Yeah. Like Classic that. Wes. Doesn't even know the rules <laughs> of the game. <laughs> Well, I could shoot twice, right? Uh, okay, so he's done. Cool. Right. <clears throat> so. Should get quicker now because we've only got five model each. Yeah, yeah. Also, I think kind of maybe the next action is pretty clear over here. Uh, who's this guy? He's a plasma. That's right? Okay. With yeah. Plasma. Yeah, it is. It is. So, the thing is, I don't really want you to melee me. And if you ever take that option, I mean, your power weapons will do just what I... It's two hits kill. Two hit dead. Unless you fluff. So... I kind of... Have to get stuck in, really. Don't you open that trap door. But, you know, it is what it is. What would Draco do? Probably know. snort warp dust. <laughs> is that what he does? Running, know. crying off into the warp somewhere. Yeah. Oh no, my chapter. They're dead. I don't know. I don't know what. Dead dead. Everybody's dead. I haven't read the law. I don't know why he actually <laughs> runs around the warp. Um, 
the guy with the cheese uh, forks you have icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pedora Pedora suggests you could dash back to cheese for obscure, but uh, I can shoot you. But as mentioned, he's already shot, so you wouldn't be able to yeah. get a shot. Also, with you making that move, I can then plan around your move. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've just uh, decided to keep him safe for another turn. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Understandable. So. I think that's obvious what has to happen. One of us is charging. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're not looking at it as a, as a straight trade. I, I don't know. I don't know what's up in your head. If Neither do I, to be honest. I'm just <laughs> making reactive things at the time. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> out of curiosity, though. What are you measuring that for? I can score route. Okay. So, if Actually, one of them charges yeah. to within six of here, I should get the kill, and that will score me round. Oh, okay. One CP. You will then get the trade kill, 100%. Yeah. But uh, I'll score a VP, and then you will be in a position where maybe you don't want to be. Who knows? Who knows? Um, or do I let you make a charge, and I hope that you fluff, Allowing my relentless to to win the day. Or can this guy just run all the way through and get a shot? Oh, I believe I might be able to. Uh, I might do that. <laughs> what, what? Okay, yeah. What you want to do? <laughs> I think it might be. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Just the one shot though. Yes. Yeah. Move dash one shot. Move dash shot. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't have any psychic, so I can't like give myself a two up save yeah. or anything. Uh, for when you inevitably just go through there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to relentless it. My, my, guy's, my guy's going to die? Yes. But I'm going to roll some dice anyway to try and get rid of some bad luck. Correct. Uh, and he, ooh, a fact. Yeah, two go through, don't they? So that's enough to... Okay. Yeah. So cool. Right. And you don't have any CP to only in death. No. And because otherwise you could have. No, I couldn't. Because... Oh, he's got Sorry, yes. yes. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, so that's him done. That's his three activations. Over to you. Now, I didn't see that coming in the maths. I didn't know I could do that until I just saw it. Okay. So I don't know how you're going to react. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. I mean, maybe it changes things. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Oh, uh, sorry. That scores me route. Okay. Uh, which I did reveal. If an enemy optic is incapacitated by a friendly optic that is within red of your opponent's drop zone, score a VP. Okay. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. You and me together. <clears throat> so, again, I mean, that doesn't really do much. It just continues the trade war. It does. But... I don't know. I don't have a but. I just, just yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. I don't know. I guess the only benefit for me is that to get the kill, it keeps you away from this room, so I'm guaranteed to score the middle. Uh, basically, is 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 the benefit. But it is a suitably bloody turn two. It is. Just measuring some shizzle. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Just 
try and see if I could be within black of you and of the objective. Okay. I think it's just out. Okay. I've got to be honest, I don't know the hatchway fight rules too too brilliantly. But yeah, you still still have to be within black of it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, fair, cool. fair enough. Yeah, in fact, no, that if I'm within because you're within the hatchway, I'm within the hatchway, I have to be within black of the hatchway. Yeah, I I, so I, I thought it was hatchway, like but then it's circle from the hatchway. Right? That's yeah. your then engagement range essentially. Yeah. But wouldn't that also put you in with both for the hatchway fight? I isn't don't know. It, isn't it visible as well? Oh, well? No, it's definitely not visible. I know that. They changed that in the FAQ. Or they confirmed it in the FAQ, but rather. <clears throat> you don't need visibility for hatchway. Yeah. Um, Fedora Fedora says, you know it's getting intense when one guy stands up. <laughs> in fact, we, we just have to get up to move the bottles yeah. uh, at this point. The table's quite high, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, yeah, so. it is. Yeah, yeah. We're too short. Short, too short kings. Short. I've actually sat on the uh, cushion today, so <laughs> give an extra bit of height. Oh. Advantage. Um, so, I, yeah. So the real question is here is, so I believe... Yeah. It doesn't matter what I believe, you're reading the rule. That's what I believe. Um... But I think it might put you within engagement range of both, which means you could get this kill if you prefer, but I think also would mean I be plus one. I, I think. Yeah. I don't. My knowledge of uh, Hashway 5 isn't, isn't brilliant. Yeah, I've it doesn't, doesn't come up very often, does it? So it's not. Yeah. Um, so you, you read, I'll, I'll just chat bollocks. Yeah, you chat bollocks. <coughs> so obviously he's going for the melee here. As mentioned, with his 4-6 damage, he gets the kill with a crit and a hit. No, 4-6, uh, he needs two crits. Um, but, yeah. But with lethal 5+, plus, there's a good chance of... Oh, you lethal 5 up? Yeah, yeah, because it's power weapon, isn't it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, he basically gets the, the kill. Uh, and the only thing I'm relying on, really, is him fluffing and my relentless uh, keeping me up. Hatchway fight attacker has to be flush with door, yeah, I believe. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flush with sure. door. Okay, so no. not within an inch of the door, but no. flush. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Drew. 222K. Two, 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 okay. hmm. That's fair. That makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, put yeah, him okay. Down. okay, flush with door. Which is not that model. <clears throat> yeah. So you can't hold the objective nope. from there, but you. But it does put you within both. Is that no, so I'm going to put there. So I'm only in engagement of that guy there. So I'm not touching, I'm not doing the hatchway fight, I'm doing a fight with you. Cause I'm with oh, you're just fight. doing a charge engage? Yeah. Charge fight. Okay, charge fight. sweet. And I assume you're then going to hit me. Threes. Oh gosh, I really needed him to fluff. He didn't fluff. Okay. <clears throat> So I got a crit, three hits. This is a relentless reroll, and do I need a second crit? I kind of do. I feel because you could, if you parry the crit, you don't kill me. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll let them go through and not think for it. So that I don't ruin my role. Because <laughs> I definitely will. Okay, I just leave it. Yep. So I've got a crit, three hits. <clears throat> what would you like to do, sir? Uh, I'm going to crit you. Okay. I'll crit you. Yep. And then I'm going to hit you. And I'll hit you. Yep. And no. you're done. How are no, you don't. Know. Sorry, no. I'm 5-4. Yep, and then I hit you again. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, I needed a second. I thought we just... Okay, all right. Cool. That makes sense. No, yeah, I thought... Um, you juiced yeah. it up. Hmm? You yeah, guys... yeah. I thought I killed you in two. That was all. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would have re-rolled and gone for the crit. Okay. Yeah, all right. um, uh, but... So you take uh, five... Nine damage. Nine damage. Down to two. Yeah. Oh, um, I'll only death to duty. Okay. 
Come on, CP. Yeah. But you can't do the fight thing about that, can you? No, I can't. Uh, so I'm just going to fall back and shoot you. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I, I won't really back. I, I fall back just enough to be within two of you and yeah. I'll shoot you. Uh, I count as not injured for this. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how much CP are you on? Relentless. Oh, still only three hits. You could live. You need to get three saves. Three saves? Easy. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, one. Yeah. Went up. No, yeah, I'm down. Two CP. Cool. Okay. Uh, over to you. No, that. Oh no, it's me. That was my only death. Yeah, yeah. That was my activation. For sure. So what have you got left? One, two, three. I thought you had one up on me. Hello, the Battle of Pelennor Fields built ten Gretchen last night. Well, good for you. Um, I assume that's for the 20-man kill team you can run of Grots, I suppose. Uh, I went first. One, two, three. And you've activated one, two... Yeah, that's right. Isn't it? Yeah. So how many guys you got left to activate? Three. Three. But that's because you killed someone that had already activated. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but have you killed someone that hasn't activated the one? Yeah. Which one? He hadn't activated. I charged and killed. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? That's yeah. the swing point. That's the swing point. Yeah. <clears throat> so now... In a way, I've swapped the... I mean, I've, by losing models, I've swapped this. But I kind of get to react to you a bit more. Yeah. Which is nice. Which is nice. <coughs> Open. Yeah. So he's going to shoot this guy? Yep. I have no cover. I have no plus armour. Oh, sorry. He, he's a two-up save. Because okay. of his equipment. Uh, this is an AP1 gun? It is. Okay. Hitting on threes. Okay. This is probably a dead grey knight. What's the damage? Uh, five, six. This is a definitely a dead grey knight. We'll see. We'll see. A crit and two uh, hits. Uh, AP1. So I have to CP this, otherwise I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead, aren't I? Uh, no, no, no. It's ten. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you're going to block the crit, aren't you? Unless you want to block her. <laughs> I'll block a crit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm down to one wound? Yeah. Oh, what a legend. What would you like to do with your uh, third point? Charge and fight. Cool. Oh, uh, you kill me. Provided I get a hit, mate. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I saw oh, the... And, uh, the sorry, he drops the banner. Ah, okay. Uh, which I'll just leave uh, there. <clears throat> so what's the thing with the banner? It has to be. <laughs> uh, so it's only at the end of the battle, but for one AP, you can destroy the banner okay. when you're within one inch of it. Yeah. Cool. So uh, probably won't score that. Cool. <clears throat> and of course, he'd already activated, so I can't do anything funky with him. So it's back over to me. You still got that. He's obviously on an engage now. Yeah. So I think this guy could be able to open, move, and get a shot. Yeah. Oh, but you're full health, aren't you? Mm -hmm. There's not really much point, is there? <laughs> yeah. Gotta be honest, uh, not really much point. Hmm. Yeah, I realise it's a little bit lazy with the, the placement that dude after. It really is. Um, okay. Fair play, fair play. Jolly good. Jolly good. So, I could open a door, move, that wouldn't get me into a hatchway fight. So, it's not good enough. 
It's a good job you put this barrier here to like slow my advance. Hundred percent. That's what I'm. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to do. Uh, well, let's think. It's just the one guy got there, is it? Just one guy there. Two guys here. Okay, so obviously I have to move into this room. This guy is gonna <sighs> disaster. I kind of need to, but I can't affect him. Even with my plus one charge, can't get there. Um, I can get a shot, but my shooting doesn't do anything to you. You just roll a three up. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe, because otherwise you'll just pop in there. Get kill. Move. Uh, open. Move to there. So I have visibility on the gun and shoot. I have yet to open this door. I am on an engage. Um, I pop my free sidekick to give no cover. I guess. That's it. Thank you. <clears throat> Men on Corn says, you use too much action with the heavy gunner. Open, shoot, charge, fight. Yes. Yes, I did. That is correct. That is you nice. could not have done what you did. That. Should we put it back? Something has to change. Yeah. You opened and shot. Open and shot was just fine. But you, and you could charge. I could charge. Or, do you want to change your last thing? I mean, you can't kill him. So you can charge or you can... Do something else. No, so I, I'll, I'll move that back to there, if that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's 100%. Because it's definitely 100%, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's 100%, yeah, so opened, shot. Yeah, good good spot. Yes. Good spot. You'd think one of us would have noticed that. <laughs> can, we just, can we just appreciate, so far, in all of our battle reports, I think everybody calls out you for your rules mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> not me. It's not, uh, no, you can't play that for us. You, that's not how that type of works. Uh, uh, I haven't given him. He was obviously on an engage because he charged and shot. Trust me, I play a lot of, lot of different stuff. <laughs> um, and yes. he. He was on one point. So. Had his uh, his equipment. Yeah. Of a two up save, which obviously helped a lot. <laughs> Did not. When you see P. Ru on a one to a one, it's uh. Does he have his wound there? Uh, yeah, he's got his wound oh, cool. there. Yeah. I didn't take it off. Sweet. Okay, back to you. This is a good way just to make sure the chat are really like paying attention to the game. It's exactly, good. exactly. <laughs> well done. You win a, uh, a, a thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cool. cool. Uh, and uh, CM Popo, of course, says, oh, Wes is wearing this lucky Canadian lumberjack shirt. That's right, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all over for me. Yeah. So, sorry, your third action. Uh, my third action for that because is... Because you opened, opened, shot. Opened, shot, and then he's just going to... Uh, oh, you can't close? No, he's just going to dash to oh. there. Yeah, cool. Okay. No, no, in fact, he's just going to stay there. Okay, you fair enough. Do that. Fair enough. So this is an interesting change. Mm. Because you can just get the kill still. Like, that's not in question. Yep. But you kind of have to decide, get the kill here, or possibly interact here. Mm. Ooh... Oh, I wish I could, Menog Kane, but I don't have my soundboard with me to give you that sweet sound noise of a double hello. But I will give Menog Kane a double hello. There you go. Well, you just have to play that in your head. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh, over to me. Yes. Excellent. Right. In that case, I don't know what to do. Are you just in the corner here? Where are you? Yeah, just tucked in the corner. Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing there. That's fine. I can save it till last. I don't know what I'm doing here. He's dead, or not, as you see fit. And I can't change that. <clears throat> what I can do is open the door and do something, I guess. I don't know. So. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to open the door with my guy on conceal. The most awkward way possible. I have to move everybody out of the way. Uh, 
Uh, and I'm just going to move on to the point. I want to move up with a move dash. If I were to be right next to that, would I be in engagement range if you opened that door? I right. If you were against it, and yeah. the door opened, then yes. I don't know. I'm not even sure how that works. If you open the door, um, and we are in engagement range, we are just in. We are then in engagement range. Yeah. Mm. You'd be able to charge me after opening the door. And then you'd be a plus one to hit me. Uh, that'd be very painful for my guy. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to shoot me. But probably rather you shot me. To be honest. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna run into here. Yep. I'm gonna stay on a conceal. I'm gonna give myself plus one to a crit damage. There's a little way to kind of fend you off, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I'll give him a little token. Plus one to damage. So I'm going to move up to here. Okay. And go into an engage. Okay. And a guard? And a guard. Yeah. I thought you might. I thought you might. Be crazy not to. Crazy not to. Crazy. <clears throat> You know what I wish I had now? Can we get that regret counter to a one? Because <laughs> uh, otherwise he could move up and basically guarantee a kill and get a, a soft kill here. Well, a wound. Yeah, a wound for him. Um, and be far enough back that you couldn't shoot and not charge me next to... I assume you have a power sword or something on him? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll be okay with you charging me then, if I'm honest. <laughs> Sounds great. Um... Okay. All right. Cool. So. Mm. Things happening. Let's figure this out then, because you've made the move. Now it's time for me to react. And because I don't know what you're doing there. So. Yeah. Uh, so. Where I am here. I think what I'm going to do is shoot you. Yep. No. <clears throat> Regret counter one. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> uh, so, let me just play around for a moment. You'd be able to guard me, unless I'm in engagement with you. And then yeah. I guess do a guard, point blank, overwatch. I probably don't want, no. uh, if I'm honest. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to be on an engage. I can't be too from that to get conceal and do that. If I go into the room, I'm basically dead. So I have to cede that point to you. Okay, cool. So, I think what I might do... Yeah, no. Without being able to double shoot, I, I have no benefit ah. to this. Um, <clears throat> so, so the easy choice is move back. or Well, no, I can just shoot. I don't need to do anything. Um, and I, he's basically unchargeable there, yeah. But because I can't double shoot, I can't shoot him. I don't really want to leave him alive, because then you'll just charge me next turn. And not kill me, but deal six damage. Yep. And there's nothing to do here till I know what you're doing. Okay. So... I'm going to charge. No, I'm going to shoot him. I'll shoot him. See what the kill is. See what the kill is. <clears throat> um, 
Would you get cover there? Or are you you're in one of those weird situations where you're not you're within, within white? One? You're within white, aren't you? Oh, don't reach it. Hey, within white. Oh, just out. Okay. Just over white. <coughs> <coughs> I'll let you figure out how cover works. So if you're outside of white, then I do get cover. Oh, okay. If, cool. if I'm, if you're not. Yeah. Then I do. One. Okay, yeah, cool. You are just within one of a piece of cover. Okay. But I'm within one of that cover. If you're within if you're within white of the bit of cover that I'm getting cover from, then I don't get cover from it. I don't care because I think I'm killing you anyway. Yeah. But purely out of curiosity, my curiosity, not the streams, this is gonna be really boring. Do you I think I'm within just within one of the cover that you would be that my cover line goes through. Yep, then then I don't get cover for it if you're within white. Because of it. I'm within white of it, which has nothing to do with you being. No. Because we're not within two of each other, but I'm within one of it. Yeah. And you're. Can that mathematically happen? I don't know. I'm not, get, I'm <laughs> not getting. I'm not getting cover. <laughs> no, no, no I, I don't mind because well, I do just you... need. You've got two two wounds. I'm going to get four hits. That's fine. Because I have relentless. Yeah, so it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I can just do no cover. Yeah. Um, because I don't need to do anything else. But I'm purely, purely out of cure. And then I'm not going to charge you because you're point blank overwatch me. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to do no cover just so that we're, we're all okay. above board. <coughs> Relentless. Ooh. Ooh. You could survive. Uh, not with that one. Not with that one. Not with that one. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay. This is a kill. It doesn't really do much for me. Um, I've got one action left. I think I'm just going to run away, to be honest. <laughs> because I kind of accept... Well... Mm, no, I'll stand still. And next turn, if I go first, I'll charge you. There you go. And if not, I'll just accept you win that for every turn, and it is what it is. Okay, uh, that's him done. He's going to shoot him. And I'm going to go oh. with uh, P1. I think P1's the way to go. Yeah, sure. P1 on rending. One damage. P1 on rending it. I can never tell yeah. too fast. I'm. So, two crits. Dead. Yeah. If, if it's P1, I'm dead. Yeah. 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 Drops that. There, I think. Oh, probably there, because was, I was not on your point. That's all we know for sure, I think. Okay. <clears throat> so this is one action. One. Okay, keep no, you've count. only got three. Keep you've <laughs> only got three. <laughs> okay. And of course, he'd already done something, so he can't get a shot back or anything no. crazy. He can't do only death. At best, I'm going to get that objective. No, no, I can't get that joke. Well, you'd... Uh, At best, I can contest steep. it. Yeah. Contest. Worst case, I'm going to die. Oh. Your minus one attack for shooting through your my guy. Okay. You just don't kill me as well. Yeah. Uh, it's true, Drew. He would have been a minus one attack, so you rolled three dice. Yeah. You rolled a really high roll, though. We could redo it, yeah, but I, redo I, don't, it? I, I don't care. Okay. It's fine. I, I, you only needed to get one shot through. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. <clears throat> uh, but in a tournament, I think that would be a redo. You just reroll. It's, it's just, do you want to reroll it? Fine, guys. Just reroll it. I'm not going to put my guy back on the board. That's P1. And you've got a, a crit. I know that's not a crit, it's just a hit. So I'm still three dice? Yeah. Oh, I'm a two up safe. 
Do you want to charge and fight? Yes, me? please. I'm not. Do I have to put him back? Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. <clears throat> cool. So he's gonna charge there, and then fight you. Well, one hit. You can do it, Wes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm losing faith in my own dice right now. No, you, you can do it. You can do it. I've got it. Easy peasy. I'm going to think about positioning afterwards. Yeah, sure. Here we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's wrecked, okay. mate. He's wrecked. There you go. Okay, cool. So that was it. And there's no visibility there, so I can't do that thing I mentioned no. last time. We're is that your <clears> token there, isn't it? Yeah. That's my token. Yeah, Whew. that's the thing we, you need to destroy. We've really had some issues around there, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we've had a few. We've had a few. Oh. We've had a few. Uh, so, with that said, it's just my guy left. My guy. <clears throat> so I can kind of run through and dash over here to make a really strong turn, next turn play. Or I can run up here, get a, get an engage with a, but I wouldn't be able to fight. Um, don't know really. Don't know. I don't need another guy here. There's not going to be any Overwatches. So yeah. Oh uh, what? Ah, oh, that was a two-up armor. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so get this guy and engage for next turn, or put myself in a solid position. Is he? He's only also, engage if the door opens, though, isn't it? I have to open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Can you cool. get into engage without charging? No. Oh wait, what do you mean? The engage. So I'm too far away to charge, and you can't charge through a door. Yeah. But I could move dash, be within, you know, base to base of that, so I would be within one of that, if this were to open. Okay. And so I would have the APL to get there and open, which would leave us then in engagement range. Yeah, and I could just pull out and shoot you. You could, yes. Okay. Um, That's weird, yeah. Okay. But, maybe I want, just because it would, you know, take an APL away from, two APL for, away from you. <clears throat> doesn't really do anything huge for me. So I think what I'm going to do instead, <clears throat> but I can't get over to this guy, but I can get into a threatening position for next turn. Yep. yep. I think that's all I can do, really. Either, either one I go for, I'm threatening you next turn. But I don't think I'm necessarily getting anything else in this game. And I can't get a sneaky shot there. So, all right, let's just hurry it up. I'm going to move myself over to here. Okay. Uh, oh, or should I just be behind cover just in case? I might do that. Just in case. Give myself a little... No, I'm going to move him straight up. Um, there is absolutely no point in swapping me to... conceal, because I have no cover. Nope. So I'll push him as close as I can. I'm not on the point now, but it doesn't matter. Yep. Um, just in case you, I don't know, try to get an angle, you won't be able to. You have to come through a door. Cool. Psychic goes away. Flip tokes. All right. Let's reset the tokens. <clears throat> uh, and we will score stuff. So, um, we both score one from the primary? Yep. Uh, so you're up to five. Did you score any secondaries? No, not ten. Okay. And you will go to a one CP? Yep. I go to three. I already put my route and my other stuff on there. Uh, I go to three CP. Two CP. I spent another one but didn't change that, I think. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and uh, before I change turn two, how do you feel about that turn? 
Where's? Yeah, it was bloody as we thought it was going to be, wasn't it? Half our team's gone. Yeah, yeah, half team's gone. It's only getting it quicker from here on in. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. Because 40 minute turn one's a tough one. <sighs> yeah. That's my bad. That's my yeah. bad. I should not have spent that long. How do you feel about turn two? <clears throat> Um, a lot of clutch decisions on both sides. I mean, because we're so fragile to each other's weapons. Yeah. Out of place, you're dead. Yeah. And all of the fighting's going right in the middle. Where this just means this. We we call it the middle. You could just call it charge range. If yeah. you're here, that you are in charge range of someone. Yeah. So we're just doing a trade. Like every every, every attack every is a trade, trade unless you're getting a, a like you know a, a sneaky shot. Yeah. Which I think really gives you the benefit because you got those plasmas. Yeah. And I'm just done. <clears throat> I think I got quite lucky getting a charge up here on the plasma, which that was a long, long charge. But I had that plus one inch. Yeah. Which uh, let me get there no problems. Um, because actually when I measured that charge, I only measured uh, the eight. Yeah. I forgot to measure the nine. Uh, so there was no problems with me getting there. Yeah. I think <clears throat> it was, um, yeah. I think it's key as well. Um, you're getting the... Initiative on that one. Oh, 100 percent. And then 100 percent. And then you end up getting the swing in terms of activations as well. Yes. Which was yeah. uh, which was really good. Super important when you're evenly matched teams. Definitely. Uh, so with that said, shall we roll for initiative? Yeah. Where's my dice? It's uh, not good. Oh my god! Not again. Uh, okay. Ah. So there's actually so I this is my worst nightmare. Because I want to do three things yeah, all yeah, at once. This is... And I was actually expecting you to guess it, and I was just oh, going to react. My word. Like, I was really, not going to lie to you, I was really hoping for the initiative. Yeah? Yeah. I can give it to you if you want. You, you, you can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, you know, I, I just pass. It's all right, I just pass. No, okay. Uh, I think it has to be your leader. Um... Ah, uh, but does it? Oh, sorry, uh, ploys. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to say no ploys for me. Uh, no ploys for me. I, I, I'm going to need some re-rolls this turn. Yeah. I know that. And I've already said all of my tack ops. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, round, turn three. Where are you going to press? I really want to kill your leader. But I have to save my banner. Do I get a point if I destroy it? No. No, it but you, you stop me from scoring two. Um, that might not be true, sorry. Uh, plot banner. Blah, 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 blah. No, so it's it's worth one VP right now. It will never be worth two to me. But if you destroy it for one AP, yeah. whilst you're within one inch of it, it then I won't score anything from it. Because it only happens at the end of the game. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, because if you fight me, you're going to kill me, aren't you? I really hope so. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so that's worth one VP. I think I'm going to go for the leader. Okay. I don't know if that's right, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do. Let's, uh, okay, let's do it. So, um, I charge in. Yep. <clears throat> uh, interesting. So in my head, I was looking at that and thinking there was an objective there. This is only one point. It's only one point. And the chances of me getting a kill and then next turn getting there, slim. Mm -hmm. Some might say that. Some might say that. But that's two now. Yeah. And that's one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> Um, he's a bolter with a plas uh, with a power weapon. 
Is that right? Yep, bolt of power. Yep. Plasma. Plasma. The question is, who am I letting you kill? <sighs> what I need is, I think here we put those little spinning wheels, and we put decision A, B, C, yeah. or D, and we just go. I have to go here because just measured it. Yep. If I get here, I cannot get to here by, for turn four. Okay. That's out. So, I want to go for a two and saving this banner for a one. The question is, do I do it with Falchions or do I do it with this guy? I think I'm going to do it with the hammer. That's why I saved my CP because he doesn't have Relentless. He's sitting on fours. Yep. Um, <clears throat> uh, the question is, can I be on there and within one of you? Looks like I can. Would you say? Yeah. There you go. Let's go there. Obviously not with him. <laughs> uh, so he has a free psychic. I believe I'm five six damage, which would probably be five seven. So it doesn't make a difference, does it? No. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, right. So I move up. But I might want to give myself a two up save for when you shoot me. On five, six damage stun, five attacks, hitting on fours. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so I haven't used this psychic yet because I'm not using it. Okay. Five dice hitting on fours. That's not bad. And when I said not bad, I meant not good. <laughs> uh, you roll before we decide stuff, I guess. Freeze. Oh! oh! We're not doing good. No. We're not doing good. Um, so I'm going to... So you got one hit, I got one hit. Yep. I'm gonna, I've got two CP. I'm going to spend one. What's your damage? Five, six. I need a crit and a hit. <clears throat> oh, I have so many to do one right now. And I CP the other one. Oh. <laughs> I just need a hit. No, I need a crit, really. Yeah, you need a crit. Oh no. Okay, cool. So, with that done, we're both out of CP. Um, it doesn't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna crit you. Um, you're gonna crit me. So that's for uh, six. And then I parry you. Cool. And then I crit you. So there was no other way to do that, really, was there? No, really. No. Uh, you do take a stun. Okay. So you're minus one AP. Okay. Uh, so you crit me for six. Yeah. And I crit you for six. Uh, he's got five less to I'm wounded, which is very sad. Uh, and I'm down to five as five well. As well. Um, I I then will pop my. Uh, so I've charged. I've fought. Yeah. Can't fight twice, so I'm just in engagement. Um, I will pop that for a two up arm safe. Okay. Because why not? Uh, and. I don't believe I can pick up the banner. Not now, no. No. So it's just there. You do have to... Could, I, I, I don't think you need to control it. I think you could just destroy it. Unless you have... I don't know. Cool. Uh, yes. Over to you. Not going to lie. I did not think that it was going to go that way. Yeah. Uh, so, hold on, let me just uh, update CP. So we're both out of CP. Yeah. Lovely, as it should be. Uh, in melee, the stun parry is hit. So no damage. What? Uh, sorry, <laughs> Menorcon, in melee, the stun parry is a hit. So no damage. I don't know what that means. Uh, <sighs> So I had stun. Oh, you got stun on the dude, have you? Yeah. So that instantly gets rid of a. I clearly I just don't know what stun does. Yeah, I can't remember what stun. Uh, <laughs> no, he's no, he's right. It could be anything here. 
I thought stun was just minus one AP. It does have to go off, doesn't it? So the first time you strike with a critical hit, oh, like one of your off. opponent's normal hits. And it parries that? Yeah. Oh, so my... So when you hit, yeah, uh, you would have parried that. Normal. Absolutely right, yeah. So, so you choose. So you get to choose whether you your crit crits me or do, or parries me, my next hit. And how much is damage your next hit? It do? would kill me. It would kill me. So then I'm six five. Six five. Yeah. So I parry all that one there. But then I don't hit it. Yeah. Okay. Good one. Men over corn. That is a triple hello to you, sir. <laughs> Coming in with the 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 rules that we just don't know. <laughs> apparently. No, no, no. It's like, oh, is it? I didn't realise you had stun, and that's, that's a good one. Because the Harlequins have that as well, which is really quite handy. Yeah, I mean, but Grey Knights are good, whereas they're bad. So, you know. <laughs> so now that guy's actually lost an APL as well? Yes. That bit I knew. That bit I knew. Yeah. So you're on two APL, so you can't fall back and shoot. Uh, I'm, I would still do my uh, two up armor save. Yep. That doesn't change. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. This really has been like the the vortex of bad rules. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we just, just don't know what's happening <laughs> over there. Oh. It's like, what's going on? Okay. Okay. Right, so obviously you were about to kill me here. Yeah, so I'm going to go to that. Yeah, and shoot you. Shoot you. Don's right. a visage. Um, I'm going to yeah. overheat over the charge. Yeah, of course. Give me all ones, baby. Oh, man. It does have We've a got no CP. So. It does have a purity CP. Oh, okay. All right. Well, What's like, my CP for? Uh, we were re-rolling like mad men. Oh, that's there. right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Twos. Yeah, all right. We're on there. So, three hits. Oh, and wait. He says, but you remain on three APO. Do I? I don't know. Oh, man. I just don't know what the stun does, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at uh, so you've overcharged, so I've only got one dice, right? And you hit... I'm dead, right? Uh, second time you strike with a critical hit, it's reduced weight. Uh, okay. So I saved one. I assume you kill me? Yeah, you're dead, dead. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's fair enough. Fair enough. I just never have to use the stun rule. No, it just doesn't come up very often, yeah. is it? Yeah. I don't know. Over to you. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so I've only got one guy to activate, and you're going to get that next turn. Don't really want to do anything. <laughs> because I can charge here and yeah. get a kill, then you'll shoot. Yeah. But I don't really want you to do that. Um, or you stay there and well that's the thing I, I will have to move off of this yeah. whatever I do I'm losing a VP to move it's like yeah. oh dear oh dear uh, so I'm going to move open and attack interesting okay weirdly I can stay on a conceal I don't need to and I won't. That seems really... Uh, but I can. Uh, no, I will, just in case. I don't know. There's no reason not to. You seem un uh, upset or confused. Yeah. Uh, I am going to... Unless you're going to say I can't do this. It doesn't seem right that you can... <clears throat> but it's not a charge. You're just moving. Yeah. And then because you've placed yourself there, I can hit you. Yeah. Just... Just think about that FAQ we wrote yesterday about motion mm. through distances through doors. I think that's only for when you're like scoring yeah. stuff. Um, I don't think that's for models. Mm. Kind of, or, I don't know. This is definitely how things worked before the FAQ, and I don't have the FAQ with me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make a note okay. this one because this is a very. Not Unless chat wants to jump in and say, I cannot do this. So, to my understanding, this is just how um, a hatchway fight works. 
Because the reason it has to work this way, I think, is because you cannot open a hatchway during a charge, right? Yeah. So for you to ever get an attack on the other side of a door, you have to have a way to open the door. And this is kind of like that. Um, otherwise, you could block doors, I think. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Just doesn't seem right. Okay, but That's I'm... fair. Yeah, I, and I don't disagree with anything you say. I'm just, okay. I'm just making a note of that first. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to open the door. Oh, it opens that way. All right. Would you like to open the door, sir? This is an instrument, though. I have to move it by that much distance so it can't be within. <laughs> but you're still within hatchway fight. Yeah, are you? With, but you're not within base of the actual hatchway. Oh, uh, I am really though. Okay. Well, it's just where am I? All right, cool. I I had the movement. I was just yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna hit you. <clears throat> but you're right. Like when you pick up the model to move it, for you're you're supposed to place it as close as you can to where it was which theoretically could move it further away and then you wouldn't get the hatchway fight. Yeah. But because the hatchway fight is a full-on two from the hatchway, I mean, it, it's huge. It's a huge fight. Um, Falchions. I've moved. Yep. I've opened and now I'm fighting. Yep. Uh, I have Relentless. So I'll be rolling those two. Yeah, that's not great. Um, uh, you roll. I uh, so I re-rolled that one dice. I'll put that to the side because I might fist for crits after I've seen what you roll. So I got this is a Mr. <coughs> Fister, isn't it? So it's three attacks. Oh right, just a fist dude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you got two hits. Two hits, yeah. So I can't completely parry you out. I don't think I need to, really. Uh, I'm a four five, so I'd be doing five. Then I need two hits to kill you, don't I? Yeah. I can't need another crit to guarantee it. How many CP do you have left? I've got relentless, so I can just choose to reroll more. Oh, okay. So I put that there because that's one I rerolled. The other one I rerolled to a miss. But if I wanted to, I could re any of these three dice. Oh, right. Sort of fishing for a crit, yeah. Uh, gosh. What a boring decision to make. But, um... I get you down to injured at least. A crit, so what... Oh, there you go. It's fine. Cool, so I'm going to... You crit me? Crit! And I parry. That one. Okay. Parry. Um, no? Uh, th these are my hits. I've got those. Oh, right, sorry. And a crit. Yes, yeah, sorry. See that one from that angle. That's what I've hit. Yeah. So if, if I parry two out, sure. I still live, don't I? Five I is. believe so. Yes. But I haven't actually worked yeah. it so, out. So you parry for five. So, what? So you, so you hit for five. So, you said so I think actually, it doesn't make it. If I parry one of yours first. Then I parry. And then you parry. Yeah. I'd hit five, four, nine. Okay, so I, I can't kill you. No. Okay, cool. So, should we just do that? I, I do nine damage, you parry. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, M. Afif. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? What's up? What's up? Uh, yeah, cool. So, nine damage to you. Yeah. Nice. So, I'm going to pull out? Yep. Yeah. And shoot me? And shoot you. That's fair. I assume that you stop within two so you can yeah. see through my delightful cover. You're going to hit me with an AP1? Yep. Yeah. Hitting you on fours. Nice. Uh, hits and a crit. <laughs> okay. AP1. I don't get cover. No. I save a crit, so I take four? Five damage? Ooh. Okay. Okay, uh, we're done. No, I still this dude. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, so Menog points out how I could have killed you. How's that? Hit first with a crit, uh, with a normal. 
because you can't parry the crit. Uh, so I could hit first. There you go. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, so for that, I like to play it as we as we played it. I think if you mess up your decision making in combat, you should have to deal with the consequences. Which is why I quite like the idea of not talking it out and just saying, right, go. Yeah. What do you do? Um, even though we did stop and talk it out. So, <laughs> but I, because I think that should be part of the game, making a mistake. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because normally it's very simple how you sort out a combat. But if you make a mistake, you should have to deal with it. Is my view. Is my view. So. Uh, what were you? What? So this guy left here to go. Uh, fall back shoot. Yeah, fall back shoot. I think is the is the option, isn't it? Let's do it. And get on to. Are you gonna use the AP shot or anything crazy? Uh, uh, it's not AP shot. It's a um, P one. P one. Then yeah. Cool. I think P one is the one to go for. Okay. <coughs> I agree. I'm a two up safe. Okay. That's but I mean, you stopped me from getting the point. So yeah, it's good enough. So nobody scores anything from primary. How many did you kill? This turn? Yeah, none. None. I killed one. Right. You killed one. Yes. Yeah. So you scored something. I assume. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Execution reveal this tack up at the end of the turning point in which more enemy operatives than friendly operatives were incapacitated during that turning point. Okay. So you go up to six, I'm still on three. Uh, I'm pretty sure this means I can't win, but there you go. Yeah. I mean, no. You I can. can. No. I can't. Despite my terrible mathematics uh, early this turn, um, no, I can't. It's tight though. It is tight. <coughs> it is yeah. uh, and I don't score anything because I've already scored stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you're going to get that. Yeah. And I either get that, or I get a kill and stop you. But that would mean giving that up. Yeah. So I cannot score. Yeah. Uh, I I can either score four and you score two. Well, assuming nothing goes wrong, I come out of this turn two ahead of you. But it doesn't matter if I score four. And you score two, or if you score zero, and I score two. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Uh, and we go to turn four. <laughs> we both go to one CP. Yeah. Oh, God. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, uh, Initiative. Yeah. Oh, f <laughs> you got to roll a six. You got to roll a six. <laughs> oh, man. Easy roll. <clears throat> okay. Oh. If it helps, I don't think much actually changes in this because of that roll. We'll see. But yeah, I, I don't think much changes. Okay, so. Um, so many ploys. Oh, how many wounds is this gone again? I had dealt nine damage. Nine damage. How many wounds is this guy on? Uh, nothing in the end, did he? Because when we had that, it's, 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 this has been the uh, oh yeah, okay. the rules void over here. Have you not it? taken anything? I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's what we've done, so yeah. it must be true. This is the rules void. <clears throat> okay, right. I already flipped it. I just oh, flipped it. Yes. Yeah. Over to me. Uh, I'm not going to play any ploys. Okay. I've got one CP. <laughs> I'm going to need a reroll at some point. So. Wait, is that five? Is that his? Yep, that's him. Yeah, so he had taken wounds? Yeah, this... Oh, okay, a, all right. Oh, I thought you meant your no, no, guy. No, no. <laughs> I was trying to figure out... Um, no, 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 no. Your guy... Okay, gotcha. ...hadn't my yeah, guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I've got a kill or a kill. And then the other guy... Okay, I have to deal with this guy, I think. Because he will kill a dude. That guy might not. So... Yeah, I'll flip this guy. Ooh, uh, yes, okay. So, I flip to an engage. Yep. I charge through. <clears throat> um, 
just on the point. Okay. Uh, just yeah, I'm going to shoot there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be almost certainly at minus one. Yeah. I so I don't think I'm going to get much, but... This will be there. Uh, I attack, I kill you. We can roll it. Yeah, you roll that. I will. You okay. roll that. Good. You have the, you have the Maybe I roll <laughs> five, <laughs> ten, ten ones. Come on. Oh, it's so, so close. So close, so close. Okay, all right. Ten ones. Uh, so that's a charge, that's a fight, and I'm going to shoot. Yep. Uh, I'm only three dice because I'm shooting through myself. Yep. Um, I do have Relentless. Not terrible. Not terrible. One goes through. Oh, no, actually. So you block the... Those two. Two normals. Yeah. So you take four. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It still means I have to deal with you in some way. <clears throat> uh, oh, no. That's my guy with plus one damage. Oh, is it? Is that yes. permanent plus one damage, then? Plus one to both of his uh, characteristics. Damage. Yes. You could only in death. Yeah, I don't only in death. If you wanted. Yeah. Which will just be a shoot. Shoot. How many wounds is he on? Six. So, could kill. Could kill. <clears throat> Time to build Star Striders. Go for it. Go for mm. it. Star Striders seem to be doing okay, as in they are in the middle bracket where, where most things should be. I think um, the clarification in the FAQ yesterday of you not being able to... Um, move and use the GA2 to then use your privateer assets is definitely a pretty harsh nerf to them but probably wasn't intentional that you could do that So only in death yep, be crazy not to right yeah let's get the up there sure. and then shoot you yeah, okay <clears throat> So uh, AP one, P one, yeah, yeah. Two hits could be enough in theory. With no P, with no P, no. yeah, probably. You know. So I block one. Yep. Yeah. So he's down to three wings. Oh, do I live anyway? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Because if I get shot by anything else, I'm dead. So okay. So I'm down to three. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> over to you. Oh, no, it's over to me. Yeah, it's over to you. Okay. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, no, that's, that's Dash. Oh, no, it doesn't matter because he just disappears. That's fine. Yes. I think if I was playing, I will only in death the gunner and block the melee. So, you, so he's saying the gunner was here, you could have only in death there. No, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Full back shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would have been much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go, that's my mistake. Yeah. Sandman 40k. Uh, we don't listen to the Sandman on this channel. He's really a lore channel, so we don't, you know, it's, it's, he only makes shorts as well, so. Shorts that are far more successful than my shorts, let me tell you that. You, you see someone doing a good job, and you're like, I'll copy that formula, and then it doesn't yeah. work. Why is that, Sam, man? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a, a really silly point thing to do. Yes, you know it was. Yeah, yeah. I've got to be honest, Min on Corn is just making us feel bad. He's like, yeah. misplay, misplay. Yeah. Misplay. It's like, yeah, yeah, it was. So I'm, That's true, <laughs> that's true. I'm, I'm suffering with bladder issues right now, so I've, I've got what you've got right no, last time. So, but we're so close to the end of the game that I'm just going to, it's a turning point four, isn't it? Yes. Got two okay. Cool. So. All right. Um, so I play. literally just have to decide what to do with this guy. Yep. I mean, I'm just gonna stand there, aren't I? Yeah. Because you're not be gonna. I mean, okay. I will dash, close the door, <laughs> just move in back, case, yeah. and move back. Yeah, um, cool. And he, he's there. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, so we are gonna have a chat. Are you sure you don't want to go? Uh, no, I'll just finish this. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to move beyond the points. Yeah, so yeah, I okay. think there's a point here. I can see through doors and shoot you. I Do you disagree? I do. I think... Is it obscured? I'm going to be obscured. Okay. I had, in, I had hoped that was the yep. thing, but if I've misplaced... 
also this is happening oh this is turning point four yeah oh yeah sorry okay so this decides to get uh in fairness i think you win regardless uh but so i get two there oh there's no chance you see yeah so yeah that's okay. fine okay cool cool um so let's count it up uh i went first so i'll count my stuff up yeah, I get one, two, three, four, I think five. I'm, eight. I'm gonna go back. I'll be back. Okay, yeah, cool. If you're on a mute, really quickly. Uh, I shall. Yeah, when you get there. Uh... Uh, so Wes has left due to his utter embarrassment at the at the pain that he suffered. So I score plant banner only one because it wasn't in his actual deployment zone. And I get my second point for Ramp for getting some kills. So that's two, which put me to five, and then four, which put me to nine. I finish on nine, well, with one VP, uh, one CP. He finishes on, I don't know. He definitely got two here, <clears throat> and um, I don't know what secondaries he scored. So we'll have to wait for him to come back. Uh, let's swap over to the other thing. Boom. Hello. What's up? Hi, guys. How's it going? Uh, that was... well. Okay, what did you guys think of that game? Um, let me tell you the first thought. That went on for way too long. This should have been an hour and a half game, but I just took so long to make decisions in turn one that... We legitimately added an extra 20 minutes that just didn't need to be there. Um, yeah, that was just too slow. This, the play was too slow for me. Again, as I said at the beginning, because I, was, I just spent so long not knowing what to do. Total analysis paralysis. And it was purely because, I, because I'm unfamiliar with the tricks of Into the Dark and elite teams. Like... I just didn't know what to do, especially against such deadly ranged weapons. And I, I often found myself in a situation where I was like, oh, I really wish this guy wasn't on an, on an engage. Because if I had more guys on conceal, on a conceal, you can quite safely move up, open a door and you're safe. Um, whereas in this, I found a lot of people uh, like... They were at a point where if I were to open a door, they were just right in the middle of a doorway and could be shot. I'm definitely learning, though, um, some of the intricacies of Into the Dark and how to deal with going on guard. The first few games I played, I would just straight up move a dude to there on an engage. And I was like... Well, I'm just going to shoot you. I mean, okay, you get one for cover, but I have an overcharged plasma. You're still dead. And when you're an elite team with 11 wounds, you cannot do that. <clears throat> Jin of the Sheep, hey, Glass. Oh, hi, Jin. I haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, thought it was a good game. Uh, hey Glass, thought it was a good game, but it's what you'd expect for a live stream. Okay. Uh, by the way, when... Uh, I don't know. I, I sent them an email and TAC got back to me uh, and said that they were going to talk about it um, and get back to me. And they have not gotten back to me. So I suspect that's not going to happen. Uh, alas... I did send a follow-up email a couple of weeks later just to check they hadn't forgot uh, and they haven't responded. So I suspect it's not going to happen. I'm not sure what's happening. I suspect that because I, I think some of them like me and some of them don't. And I would assume that the people that uh, are in charge of the kill team perhaps don't. I don't know, though. Like, maybe they're just too busy. That's the other option. Um, probably the more likely option. Uh, because also it was a case of, it wasn't, let me know when I can come over, I'm completely free. It was, I'm going over potentially for LVO or KTO, um, 
do you have time if I were to then extend the trip? Uh, so there you go. But whatever, they haven't got back to me. Um, but Into the Dark, there's no real reason for anyone to be on Engage Turn 1. Disagree. I also disagree, yeah. Um, there's, For example, t- I mean, the reason I had to play it so cagey is because you had your big guys on, mm-hmm. on Engage. Like, I couldn't just, oh, I'll just run into the room. I had my guys positioned that yeah. if you did go into there, I would just kill you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy I, Tech I mean, Dad says... I think it's always good to have, like, a threat... 100%. Always okay. good to have some sort of threat. Yeah. Um, you don't have to have everyone, you know. No. You don't even have to have half the team. Because we're an elite team, we ended up with half the team. Yeah. But if you just have one or two good guns... Just one, just one or two big hitters on an yeah. engage order. Well hidden. And not, not that they can actually necessarily do anything, but the threat that they can yeah. do something. 100%. Just the, the psychological thing that you have yeah. to play around it. 100%. Um, but the only thing that could have made this better is custodians. That's true. That's true. I will say... My official petition to GW is that we need, uh, and I was going to, you know, fulfill a content on my channel, I was going to make a video about this, called uh, something like, I don't know, some... Bring like, IPL back again. N- no, 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 I was going to say, um, this is the final kill team we need, or something like that. We need a 40 mil base kill team. Because right now, Intercession are brilliant to proxy whatever you want. Kazakin, not bad. If you've got 28 mil bases, you want to proxy? Go those. Otherwise, you've got, um, I, I guess, Vet Guard or Blooded or whoever you want to proxy on 25 mil bases. Yeah. I want a 40 mil proxy based team. Custodes, you could do them, but you know, they're not like, they're not a spec team. So I just want a 40 mil base spec team. And then I, because then if you want to play uh, Custodes, proxy them as whatever the 40 mil base team. If you want to play yeah. Ogrins, Proxy like I'm, I'm, Wraith Guard. I'm a, yeah. a massive Dark Angel fan, so I really want to do a Deathwing Terminator proxy. So exactly Deathwing and proxy. What, whatever the yeah, yeah, whatever they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I just like them to have full rules though, because yeah. right now you can just proxy what any forty mil based team as Custodes. And it, yeah. Fine, you know, but I like the the spec team of forty mil bases. Yeah, I I think the thing with those um. Custodians gone on a bit of a tangent is they are such a finesse one to get right in terms of rules writing. Custodians? Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. Because I think that, that four, the four, um, APA? No, the four players, the four, four, four you, models, up, yeah, four yeah. models, yeah. four APL, that sort of thing. That's a, that's, that's a real fine one to balance. So I think, you know, just let the game a bit, develop a bit more, let the rules down, just get a bit of a, a stronger understanding and really get those ones right. <clears throat> Yeah, definitely uh, balance on a knife edge. I mean, similar to, like, um, Harlequins. Yeah. Like, a slight change, and they can go from really, really strong to terrible. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Whenever you have either very low model count or very fragile models, it's like, uh, tough. Yeah. Really tough. Um, Andy, the tech dad, yes, we've just finished and are having a post-game chat. Oh, sorry, we were, you need to, what was your final score? I got eight. Oh, you mean in total or yeah. that turn? Eight in total. Oh, okay. I got nine. Did you? I got oh, nine. Good game. Boom. Good game. Boom. Look at that. Grey Knight superiority. They oh, are wait. the best Marines. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. Now it comes out. Now it comes out. Sorry, wait. What did you score final turn? Just final turn. Uh, no, so final turn, I got two for the back. Two for the back. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's nine as well. Oh, did you not score any? So I got two on primary to start. I got one on primary second turn. Did you score any any tack ops the final turn? No, just two prop two oh. on primary. I've got you down as eight. Oh, is it? Yeah. Did so you were six at the end s- of last turn. Yeah. Unless I forgot to put a tack up. So execution. I, I might have forgotten that. Yes, yeah, so we got two in first turn. Got one, one in two. second turn. Three. One in second third turn. Four. Five, five six. six and then I got headhunter for two and executioner for one. Okay, alright, so we're nine. Yeah. Happy with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean I definitely didn't score more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Draw. A... Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Okay, alright, so it's nine each. Yeah. Nine each. Okay. Um Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I sat on that for three turns, didn't I? And then two back yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so I got headhunter for two and executioner for one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, you probably said execution in the middle of something, and then I didn't add it. Yeah. Yeah. I what did I score? So I scored route twice. 
because I got the kids. Uh, plant banner got me one. I was just a point, like two inches away from make, having that be two, and I got Robin Rouse. Nice. Okay, sweet. Good. I scored one, two, three, four. Then I only scored four because, hold on. I just scored four then, and I scored one here. One turn. Even that puts me ahead of the nine I just counted. Right? I don't know. So I've scored four. One, yep. two, three, four. I scored this once, right? Yeah. 100% I scored that at least once, which yeah. would put me on five, just yeah. from primary. I don't think I scored it. Maybe I scored that twice, but whatever. Um, no, I didn't. I scored that once. So I've scored five. Then I scored plant banner for one, because you didn't destroy yeah. the banner. Route for two. That's eight. Robin ransack for one. No. What, what am I smoking? What? I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with this as well right now. Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, that, yeah, it's nine. Okay, right. <laughs> We're good. Go, go, go. I, I can do maths. I, I think we're over caffeinated. But as I well, did yeah. it then, yeah. and not when I was then it's, it's counting the, my. It's the off. pressure of people watching you. That's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. The three so, people. Some, in some people thrive on the other people watching them. Uh, we, we evidently don't. <laughs> no, apparently not. Apparently not. We are not voyeurs. Yeah. Uh, before we go off on a ramble, um, how do how do you feel about the game? Yeah, uh, good. So that last turn, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, two two things. I was really hoping to get the the thing. Um, the initiative because I was going to pop over here and shoot your guy here. Yes, totally could have done that. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then when you charge in here, completely as I can't remember the chap said. Um, Middle corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, if I, I should have. Yeah. Only death with that person there. But and you that. didn't see it. No. You knew to do this, but yeah. you just didn't see that, and so unless we'd been corrected, we wouldn't have even thought about no, it. No, no. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's yes. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not something I even clocked. No, no. You should have though. I it's mean, just, only in Death to Duty End is a standard uh, full back shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and it would have practically it, guaranteed. Just in, in my head, when I planned out that turn, I planned that, that guy go yeah. there, that one kill there, and I was only in Death to Duty End on this one here. Gosh. That's what I planned. Yeah. Well, actually, I didn't change my plan after I actually. After, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I got that. Yes. I mean, so obviously we drew, but I think you could have taken that. Although at the same time, um, I could have got the kill here. Yeah, as, as he pointed out in turn three, and then you'd have gone into turn four with only two dudes. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, and had I rolled my dice properly in the first place, I might go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, <coughs> it's the game, isn't it? You know, I think we yeah, we, we, we were a bit of a rules void over here. Things were getting weird. There's no <laughs> yeah. doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I enjoyed yeah. it. It's a good game. It was. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I like that it came out of draw. It feels feels good. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, you know, two elite teams, obviously very, uh, very, very close, as, as it probably should be. I was saying to chat before you came back, um, my main issue was it was too long. And that's because I, turn one should have been 20 minutes, not 40. Yeah. Like, I was just way too, way, way too slow in analysis paralysis. Um, because I'm, I'm just not used to kind of the tricks of Into the Dark. No. And an elite team, and all that stuff. Yeah, and I, I think your team, you were a combat team, so I think you, you position for the second turn. Yes. It, yeah, yeah. And allow, just accept the fact that I'm going to go on to objectives for that first Definitely. turn. Definitely. But actually, you've got your people up there ready to open duel, charge, fight, yeah. and kill me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will say, you kind of stopped my first, or my initial plan. So my, my initial plan with my banner guy was basically just run up here. Yeah. Get get myself over here, and just die. Uh, <laughs> basically, I mean, you know, hopefully not die, but assume that he dies, and then I've dropped a banner in your deployment zone. Maybe I'm on a point for a turn. Yeah. But because you just constantly had a dude here that could have easily dash shoot, and yeah. he's dead. It's like, Ugh, can't do that. Yeah. So instead, I spent what three, four turns trying to get there instead of one or two. What I really wanted to do as well is rather than taking three of these uh, guys with power weapons, I, I wanted to take the, the heavy thunder hammer, but I haven't finished painting that one. Oh, okay. Fair enough. For that little combat threat, really. Because he's good. Yeah. But that's... The hammer. But then you're hitting on fours, right? Because it, it's yeah. minus one to the hit. Yes. And let me tell you, me going into you with my <laughs> nemesis thunder hammer, oh, man. Yeah. I, I missed that relentless. 
Yeah. Avalo, this is good. Good catch on the stun. Yeah, stun's really... It's actually quite interesting, a stun. The fact that you get to do it. If I knew the rules for it, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But again, you, you seldom get into combat with... And it matters. Stun weapons, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because normally stun is something with a big hit. Yeah. And it's like, well, I'll probably kill you. But this is like, oh, no. Um... <clears throat> Men- Menog Corn. Yes, it is difficult now. Try to think who the game will go if you charge something. The melee hit into the gunner, only in death, the gunner, etc. Think a draw is a good result for this match. Yeah. 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 yeah fair, fair. 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 Yeah. Um, it's nice to play cool. some companion stuff. It's been a while. Yeah. 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 Um, definitely. Uh, there is something nice about just a simpler game. You know, he says. It's still having taken two hours. Uh, yeah. Whoops. Let's play a league game, team, he said. Yeah, it'll be it'll quick. Be quick. <laughs> it'll be quick. Uh, Jin and Steve, question. What's your preference between Into the Dark and Open? I'm very much feeling Into the Dark right now. We haven't even talked about the terrain we were going to set up. We just defaulted to Into the Dark. I guess it's because it's what GW's releasing for the year. Yeah, so it's, it's like... It's the hot take right now, I think. Yeah. I'm I'm more into wanting to play Into the Dark right now and occasionally play what we call it above world. Open, Open core, core, overworld, whatever. Yeah. I think officially it's core. Because it is just the core. Yeah, core. Yeah, yeah. Um whereas this is a modification. So. Yeah. I, I, I kinda of prefer this at the minute. I, I like the little tactical plays and stuff in it. It generally <coughs> this game aside. <laughs> sure. It generally feels quicker as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I I would agree it feels quicker for some reason. Don't know why. I'm not sure any of my games have been quicker. I think is with this, there are very few points where you have to worry about looking for where you can get shot from. Sure. You can either get shot from the edge of a wall or through a door. Yeah. Well, in core, you're having to look at multiple angles. You do. When you're placing you things. So actually, yeah. placement's a lot simpler because it's like, in an open area, or it's not, as yeah. opposed to being, oh, it's open from here, it's not from there, and you're factoring lots of stuff in. So I think from a um, brain power perspective, it's a, it's a little simpler. Yeah, no, I'd agree. Also, well, maybe not, but because of that same reason, there are fewer gotchas, in a sense. Mm. It's like, I mean, obviously, once you get over the idea of the golden angle and, and all that stuff, um, non-reciprocal line of sight, if someone's able to move and shoot you, you, you probably know it's coming. Yeah. Whereas on open, sometimes, ah, I forgot about that. Or, oh, I didn't see that gap down the side. Or I'd, I'd been focusing so hard on this guy over here, I didn't realise you'd be able to cross the board like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what are other people enjoying? What's a... It's a good question. Uh, how, how does chat feel about Into the Dark versus Core? Um, any preferences? I haven't, outside of the top tournament people crying about it being an incomplete rule set uh, I haven't really heard anything negative about it I think people are generally quite happy at least when I'm reading my discord and stuff I'm, I'm seeing lots more stuff on Twitter of people playing this actually <clears throat> oh okay interesting which is weird because this is a huge hobby commitment like yeah. putting this board together somebody's like I'm going to play this yeah. whereas I, I would have imagined that a lot of people for core just like oh I've got some 40k terrain lying around or I can you know, poor hammer. I've got some toilet rolls and stuff. Yeah, and and some, you know. The thing I'm really liking about it is though is that we we talked about this probably about a year ago about terrain placement. Yeah. What yeah. I like about this is that it's just set maps as well. Yes, you don't have to think. No. It's so just, we, you go, hey man, let's uh, let's play two point two, and you come round. I've yeah. already got it set up. Yep. Or not, as the case yeah. today. But, yeah. Um, but it, yeah. yeah, it's nice, and you can have that set up beforehand in advance. And you yep. know that it's already, you're speaking the same language, it's not, oh, are you happy with this? It's just, that's <clears> it. Yes. It, it's weird, though, because, I mean, yes, I agree. I agree with you. It's nice to say, let's play that mission, and you just know what you're coming into. But it, it is a bit weird, like, oh, are you happy with this layout or anything? It's like, that's an okay question to ask. Like, you, it would be fine if we were playing Octarius, you'd say, are you happy with this? And for me to say, no, I, I, let's change a few things. That, that's a fine question to have. Yeah. But, because it's not like we're going super hardcore, competitive, you know. But I guess also, I think it takes away accountability for my mistakes, which is good. <laughs> and I like that. So I can't come to a table and say, 
and like and like pick the wrong side to set up mm. because it's like because it's um symmetrical. Yeah. So it's not my fault if I missed you know, if I miss a vantage point, uh and and my opponent just immediately deploys like oh no, I didn't see it. Something mm. like that. Which yeah, it, it removes a part of the pre game thought process, which is probably a good thing, to be mm. honest. Um but yeah. Well, what people say there's only I don't know. I need to make the text bigger. <laughs> uh, Jump on my glasses, Johnny West from it. Yeah. Uh, Brian hasn't played any Into the Dark yet. Vinterborg hasn't played any Into the Dark yet, but looks great. Uh, Andy the Tech Dad, it's fine. It works. Personally, I prefer open boards, but not really fussed. Let's go. Uh, Jin and the Sheep, I prefer the theme of Into the Dark, just where it feels more predictable. Hmm, okay. Uh, Andy the Tech Dad wasn't super happy with Shadow Vaults going out of stock super quick. Yeah, you know, I still no idea how that happened. Like, I, I obviously we're never going to know, but I would be super curious to know if they just didn't print enough, or if it just sold crazy well because of Kasakin for forty k. No idea, no idea. Um, yeah, because there was a lot of negativity about that box before it came out. They just sold really quickly. Yes, they. I, so obviously I'm super into the kill team scene and less into the 40k scene. Yeah. <clears throat> so I only saw it from a kill team perspective where mm. there was there was quite a bit of negativity yeah. because people were expecting different terrain or mm. a portion of the community was expecting different terrain every time. Yeah. And it was we kind of had to accept oh no it's the same terrain. And that was the primary focus of of the discussion. It was like oh I don't know if I want a second set. Yeah. Or something, or it was, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to have the same set for the next year, you know. As we were kind of getting to grips with, that's probably the way it's going. Um, I didn't really take issue with it because I'm excited for potentially playing Arcs of Omen. Yeah. So two sets is great for me. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to build set three and four though. I've got, I've got to be honest. Like, it's like unless Arcs of Omen releases a a, a full size four set. Yeah. Then maybe, but like it's so much hobby work. Even with the cheating spray thing I do, yeah. like it's it's I, still so much. I've painted two sets up, and sure. I think that's probably where I'm gonna stop. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't even know what to do. I I don't think it's gonna sell on eBay, frankly. But we'll see. Yeah. Maybe forty k players are gonna go mad for yeah. it. Yeah. When when Arts maybe, releases. maybe worth more in a couple of years time when it's I don't. Know. Yeah. Well, with GWs. Track record to be out of stock in about six months. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's his name? Delobius. Uh, I like it, but some of the match play missions are too open. So this is another thing that people had to get their heads around. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but for some people thought that you use some of the narrative terrain on the match play. You know, uh, like the generators or yeah. the fallen pipes which definitely closes the map down a lot. It, I mean, it completely changes the game. Yeah. Um, which is fine, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Uh, suddenly I know that Can You Roll Crit, his first Into the Dark battle report, he used the narrative terrain. And obviously he's, very, he's always a, a, a by-the-book guy. Uh, and so obviously he had just assumed you set it up in a similar way that you set up Octarius terrain, so you have your fixed walls, and then you go ahead and you place your narrative terrain as you see fit, kind of. Which is an interesting idea. Um, it, it's clear in the rulebook that's not how that works. Yeah. You know, it's, it, I don't think there's any ambiguity. But I t also totally get how somebody might see this huge open space and think, well, obviously there should be a generator there and a fallen pipe and stuff. Mm. I, I get that. I get that. Um, but this part of me that enjoys the openness because you've really got to think about barrier placement, activation of when sure. guys are going in there, sure. having the guys on um, like guard actions and stuff. Yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Uh, men, or, men or corn, I prefer it to dark, but here in the tournament, uh, but here in Italy, tournaments are on open for now, and it's very difficult that change. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. At home, I prefer Into the Dark is very good in multiple things. So I agree, Into the Dark, 
for a tournament scene is really hard to source. Whereas before, so obviously when I was doing tournaments and like talking to tournament guys, I'm looking at London because that's where I was playing. And we were lucky in that we could just get half the players to bring their terrain. Yeah. So we could play anything really because everybody had enough. You know, there's enough diehards there that have a painted set yep. of Octarius, Chalnath, Nachman, whatever. Uh, we're also lucky in that everybody has a painted set of Into the Dark. So it's, it's kind of a non-issue in my specific area, but not everywhere can do that. Um, and it's also a little bit antithetical to Kill Team because you kind of, it's, about, it's meant to be just easy, here's my team and some tokens, let's go. Yeah. You know, and we're like, here's my huge Into the Dark box, let's go. It's like, you know, I don't want to be carrying a full 40k army. Uh, which is kind of what bringing your own terrain to a tournament is. Um, instead of this is my this is the size of my tournament kit, you know this little box. It's a oh, I don't know how big it is. One point six liter, really useful box. It contains my models. Um, on my tournament kit, the lid is magnetized, so you put the models on there. That's your tray, so you don't have to pack them up every time. Um, it's got my dice, it's got my measuring sticks, it's got my tokens, that's all I need. Life is good. But as soon as you then have to take either more than one team, I have to upgrade the size of the box or terrain, then suddenly I'm doing something else. Uh, hopefully, uh, <clears throat> with the proliferation of this box set, this should be a lot on eBay relatively cheap. <laughs> hopefully. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I, I was about to erroneously say that once Arcs of Omen comes out um, a lot of stores might be stocking it yeah. uh, sorry building it and painting it so that people can play on it yeah. but actually because it's narrative only they probably won't they'll probably let the players take that if it was a comp if GW was pushing it as this is a new competitive set I imagine some stores would say okay well we will you know spend the money stock it so that our, you know, the majority of our players are competitive players and we will have that board for them. But I imagine because it's narrative, maybe they do one board, like that they'd allow people to play on and then everybody else has to bring their own. It's my assumption, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, look, hello to Lord Inquisitor Vex, good to see you. Afternoon all. Lord Vex. <laughs> uh, mm. Not quite, no, V-E-X. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> And Vintage Bjork Into the Dark seems to be really uh, compatible with the old arena boards. Yeah, so over in the US, I know that they are, I think, they're definitely playing on them, but I think they're even running tournaments on the old arena boards. Oh, interesting. And just playing them on that, which is cool. I'm cool with that. I mean, I have all of my old arena boards. I think somehow I've lost the Rogue Trader True Hawk board, but I also have my Pariah Nexus board. Could happily play on that, like I could bring it down, bring it down, see how it feels. It, this does two yeah. D quite well, doesn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is just a two D map, yeah. really. Um, and I and I like the doors, um, but this would perfectly swap over to an old arena board, like the rules are identical. Well, the things you need, so you know you just say okay, this is how rules play. Mm -hmm. Uh, rules play. Sorry. Uh. Ah, yes, that's the other thing. So, um, Pedori Pedori says, Shops in my area only have two sets of ITD terrain, at best. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not terrible. You know, two sets. I mean, most tournaments are rarely more than ten tables, because that's 20-round tournaments. So, you're not too far off having a mixed mixed event. No. <clears throat> yeah. I think anything with tournaments of these is that you have to be smart in resetting the boards. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't swap yeah. them every round. <laughs> no. no. No, no. What you could have is, say if you had nine tables, you could have three with one set, three with another set, three with another set. Sure. And such people just slide down. And yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Andy the Tech Dad, we ran into the dark up north, had 18 players, I think, so we had nine boards. And what we did was kept the same mission on, on each table, so some players played the same mission twice. Makes sense. 
uh, video build. As a bonus, it's easy to fit the arena board and the doors. In your yeah, that is true. It is easier to travel with just the arena terrain. Um, and I detect add mixed tournament. Cool. Yeah, because I think Necromunda was like that initially, wasn't it? It was all 2D boards similar to was it? Arena, yeah. So the original one when they first came out was all. Uh, it had like all the walls marked in there for. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like the original beginner board that came in the box, yeah. it did have sections that said, play this as if it's a wall. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. Um, so there, which there, I there was a good start. There, there are smart ways around it if, if people yeah. want to run it. And I think that if accessibility wise, 2D is great. I would like it. I'd love to see like whole tournaments. It's speed. Oh, just look cool. Yeah. So one thing that people have always liked is indoor environments. Yeah. I mean that's why. Like, I mean, okay. I don't actually know what the sales were for the original Zone Mortalis Forge World huge blocks of resin sets, but the the idea of liking it was always cool. The idea of urban environments. Like, okay, we're playing this as as a as a as a, as a ship, a space hulk, but these could just be building walls. And this could be a dense urban environment. Yeah, it could like, be that under high. It could be anything you want. Um, oh, we we chatted about it earlier about the um, the Necromunda terrain is really quite cool. Yes, but it's very plastic intense. Sure. Well, it, this is actually quite economical in terms of what you get for for the plastic using. Yeah, I also quite like so even when I'm looking at um, core boards, uh, Octarius boards. Because of the way the rules interact with the, the keyword of terrain, you give it. Uh, Kill Team definitely lends itself to very thin slithers of terrain with a heavy keyword as opposed to a big chunk of terrain with a heavy keyword. Yeah. Um, this thin piece gives you so much more room to manoeuvre and of course the game is all about movement really um, that whenever I've played I've often taken ah, what is it? Uh, the Sex of Frontieris walls which are kind of similar to this in that they're quite thin um, but they are quite chunky as well and so provide the heavy trait uh, and, and place those in the like key positions, even though I have the full set of the Necromunda Underhive stuff, uh, from, I can't remember what that one was called, but you know, the, the new plastic Zone Mortalis set, I just don't like those walls in it. Unless you want like a single pillar as like some, as a feature, yeah, they don't make a good wall. No, they, they get They're knocked about and stuff. These, these actually lock into place, don't they? I know a bit too well at times, but... <laughs> sure, uh, yeah. The, the other ones, the Necromunda ones, just finally just get knocked around and stuff, and it was a little bit yeah. fiddly. Awesome. Okay, well, it's been two and a half hours. Yeah. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. I hope this has been interesting. Uh, stay gangster. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big triple hello. Just imagine you heard it. <laughs> it made total sense. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, where's thanks for the game? Thanks again. Um, hopefully. See you back on the channel soon. Yes. Let's plan the next one. All right, let's do it. Done. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.